last time on Dungeons and Dragons. That's where, uh, you remember the last, last time <laughs> you guys were trying to hunt down Blackbeard, right? And meet him in Curios. Black this strap. Large black strap. Ah. Precisely. Same thing, black in the strap. city of Curios oh, over here. Man. So, yeah, and you guys went there and you found out that he had been captured by the, the Black Hand. So, that's where you guys, um, you guys decided to split the group where Jog and Towered, and along with everyone else who wasn't here, decided to go down to the other ship and do, uh, hang out with the other pirates while you guys went back to the Strahd Slayer. You guys, you know, um, pretty much there was a whole plan where Dex, one of the pirates, the lizard guy, had told you guys he knew someone, an ex-Black Hand member, who lived in the city. Mm -hmm. And he was telling you that maybe he would know of some way to help out getting you guys into, you know, say, Blackstrap. Yeah. Um, so, you guys go out to you, you this contact's house, Eddie, and you meet Eddie, and uh, you help him out because he's being hunted down by assassins. Anyways, you guys do all that, you kill the assassins, you get back to your ship, and you both leave, um, staggering your voyage, if you remember, with Salarin and the crew on the boat, lagging behind the rest of you guys. As you guys head towards, do you remember? Um, we had they, towards no. Nizel. Uh, no, New Barovia. So, correct, New Barovia. I so, stayed behind with the rest of Blackstrap's crew to basically throw them off a little bit so we didn't all, like, both ships leave at the same time. Makes sense. Yeah. Exactly. So, you find yourself out here on the Strahd Slayer, like the waves crashing up against the boat as you guys find you. You're out on the high seas. Um, about night, so, you know, so it's nighttime as the moon's light. You're driving the ship. Jog is steering the ship. Gotcha. And Jog Avast steers the ship. Avast. Activate. Pirate sub protocols. Uh, Activate flag so, yar. <laughs> so you guys head out on the open seas and uh Yeah. So what do you guys want to do? So you guys are headed at least, you know, you can see uh um Gertruda walks up to uh, she's like, uh, Jog, where where are we headed? Jog, so what should we do? We have a we have this Eddie man below deck, the guy that we just rescued from the black hand. Yes, yes, Eddie. Eddie, <laughs> yes, and I remember need... fondly. And you will say Cab, you <laughs> walk up too. You're there too, Cab. And Flareon's there, and he's like, you know, saying the Flareon action, I can't do it. It's like a southern. Yes. Yes. Um, and Coward. <laughs> so what do you guys what do you guys want to do? As you guys are on, on the Strahd Slayer. Um I mean we should probably go back to New Barovia, right? Like isn't that where we were headed? We're headed to New Barovia, yes. Mm -hmm. To shelter Eddie. Yeah, and you can see, um, as you guys are just the waves crashing up against the hull of the ship, as the moonlight is it's almost full, uh, but not quite. Um, you can see Eddie walks up and he's like, Yeah, dude, so uh, thanks again for saving me, right? You guys, everyone's saving me. Um, I definitely think it'd be sweet to get somewhere where the, the, the black hand ain't gonna see me. I think you'll be safe in New Barovia. I think I will too. Sweet. So, and that's where we're headed? Yes. Badass. So, so as we're sailing, mm -hmm. uh, where is... What's the information that you have to tell us? He says, what do you mean information? What are you going to tell us? Here. And you see he takes out his bag uh, on his back and he pulls out his symbol. He's like, he can have this. This is a, a badge from, you know, a higher ranking Black Hand member that I was. So, I mean, if I don't know what you guys want to do with it, you know, don't get caught with it, because if you're not black hand and get caught with it, you're going to get in trouble. But I'm saying you could, you know, use it to get... It can get you into places you're not supposed to be if, you know, the black hand. At lower levels. You're not going to get into the throne room, goddamn. But, you know, you're going to get pretty close. Do you want it? I mean, sure. God and he hands damn. you. If you want to go ahead and give that, uh, put that as ID, goddamn, um, 234. <laughs> So I know of a way into the back end, you know, because you know Nazelli built in the side of a mountain, right? Uh -huh. It's built. It's kind of hard to, to get it. There's a back entrance way on the mountain 
in on the back side of the mountain because it's kind of in the side of the mountain. Mm -hmm. I know of a back way, he, it's a hidden way, assuming they haven't changed much, which I mean, uh, from what I remember hearing rumors, there's some kind of monster that guards the back entrance. This so, is new? What'd you say? This is new? What do you mean is it new? They, it's been, they've, they've been, there's been all kinds of rumors of different horrible things that, that go down in the back. You know, not, not many people know about it, man. I was, I was pretty high ranking. Mm -hmm. Does, I, I don't know. Does that answer your question? What's your question? Just, you don't, you don't know what it could be? I don't, I, I, so. You seem to be wishy-washy on this entrance. <laughs> I can get you to the entrance, all right? It's dangerous because I've been gone a little while, right? They're not going to keep everything consistent. There's been times in there where they had, like, these flamethrower traps that if you didn't have your badge, you're going to get fucking barbecued, man. Mm -hmm. And then there's other times that they'll switch it out and they put monsters in there, man, in the labyrinth. It's, uh, you think it's funny, robot, but no. Uh, he, he's like, do you see what I'm saying? I, I, I could tell you some things that it have been. I'm just saying it, the, the, they're not going to keep it the same all the time. You got to be on your toes. That's if you want to go in the back entrance. Oh, dude, I think you might even be, have a chance of talking to Marcus. Who is Marcus? He's the, the leader of the black hand, the, you know. The, the guys that want me, dead. And why would he talk to us? Well, he has your, your captain, Blackstrap. Mm -hmm. you, he's going to try and make a deal with this, you think? I think he, you could probably make a deal with him to get the captain back. I don't know what kind of deal he's going to do. But just make sure. I never, I'm not going near the Zelly. Let that be let that be crystal clear here, boys. Uh -huh. Eddie is not getting a foot near that fucking city. We... I'll, 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 I'll go to Hamas if you really fucking need me to, but I'm not going to this alley. Um, do we need multiple badges, or if we're as a group and I just have, and I just use one, we'll all be able to walk through? Dude, I mean, you can, if your bravado is of a certain magnitude, I'm saying it's going to be difficult. Because usually, they want to check everyone's badge. If you're going in there as a bunch of soldiers, they're going to want to check everyone's... Unless, you know, you're really like, hey, this is officer, whatever, like, get the fuck out of the way, and then maybe they'll listen. Uh, how, how persuasive are you? I mean, not very. I might be able to learn, like, a disguise spell or something, you know? And I have a disguise spell. Well, if we both have disguise spells, then we can just go in as a couple... And you got one bag, though. Oh, we got one I mean, but like you can you make disguise it... into a badge. <laughs> I turn into a badge. You yeah. turn into a... He turns <laughs> into <laughs> the badge. Yeah. It's just a giant badge and cock. <laughs> They'll never see me coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guess I can't let that time out. Um. So you guys keep heading, and uh, after about it's a good it over twelve hour drive, but Jog does not sleep. So. He rides at the helm, I assume. Are you sleeping on the ship, this cab? Towered goes, I'm going to get some Shuddai for, you know, the adventure tomorrow. And he goes to sleep as well. I definitely well. want to sleep. All right, so everyone, long rests while Jog rides the ship, or drives the ship. Unless yeah, massively them. steering off course. Do we have a sextant? Do you have a sextant, Captain? <laughs> Captain? I don't. I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's there's appropriate. There's kids on board. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, give give there's the sextant. Children. Give the sextant to your kid. Uh, I uh, Sebastian is not ready for that kind of talk. <laughs> <laughs> when he maybe when he's older. Um. So, you guys arrive in New Barovia around 11 a.m. And as you guys kind of pull in, you dock your ship. You guys pull up into the. The little um, harbor there as you guys enter the small little city and you can see the sun shining and Eddie uh, says so this is am I coming out with you guys you yeah. said you're gonna find me a place here yeah yeah sweet so uh, towered and uh, flare on say yo we'll watch the ship for now so we'll see you guys if you guys want to go out and you know help well so tower says what's our goal here we're just 
dropping off Eddie? Pretty much. Yeah. And Eddie says, yeah, so... Uh, he, he takes out, like, we, as you guys are parked in the harbor, he comes down and he takes a piece of paper out and he draws the city of, uh, he goes, this is Nazelli, mm -hmm. and he puts an X on the paper, and he goes, and this is the back entrance, mm -hmm. all right? You're going to need to take that badge, and you're going to need to press it up against the black rock, mm -hmm. huh? And when you press it up there, the door's going to unhinge, and then you're in. That's if you want to, if you want to go that way. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So... He, uh, he goes, and, you know, here's the badge. Is there anything else I can, you know, just before we... So... We, we, we even, right? I mean... Uh... I thought there was more information that you could tell us. Like, what do you want to know? Where do you think... Where do you think they would keep Blackstrap? Is there, like, a specific That's, dungeon area? So there is... There is a dungeon area. And, and, and he goes... It's a pretty complex castle. Like, it, too much for me to try to draw a lot of map here. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so hard for me. But there is a dungeon area. It's going to be... So, you got you got the mountain, right? Yeah. Big mountain. You got a city on the side of it. Mm -hmm. It's on the uh, southwestern side, mm -hmm. right? But there's more city inside the, the mountain. But it's a lot more military. So, as you go down deeper, that's where they keep the dungeons. Mm -hmm. That's... You want to enter into the mountain and go down. And you're coming from the back entrance, right? Yeah. So you will be able to... You will see some... If you try to go down, just try to go mm -hmm. down all the time. Mm -hmm. And you, you'll get there. And uh, we'll, we'll say you guys... Um, and we only need one badge to enter. Like... To enter the door. To open up the door. But, you know, if someone stops you at a security point, they're going to want to see everyone's quote-unquote badge. Yeah. Um, Unless you you can talk them out of it. I mean... These, they got options here. Do you think they would take such a high, um, I'm, I don't know, I don't know what it would be. Are you asking how high the risk, or uh, high, how high security is going to be? No, no, I'm, so with a person like Blackstrap, who has the potential to, like, who has the map to, like, the treasure of this island. Uh-huh. Like, do you think they would keep him in the dungeon, or do you think they would? Do you think there would be a place that he would? They would keep him to keep him comfortable, I guess. Or do you think they would? Are they kind of people who would torture it out? No, you you make very good points. It, he could be anywhere in the compound. Mm -hmm. I would say, very good chance he's gonna be in the gel cells at least some good portions of the night. Probably at least night. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But he could be moved around. I'm sure they're gonna be questioning him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he could be mobile. He could be rotten in a cell, man. Are I don't. You, are you? Were you guys torturers? Remember, you uh, killed kids. No. What do you mean? Are we torturers? Like, would you torture somebody to get information? Yeah. What kind of torture? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not the good kind, you know. I mean, I'm, like, I'm saying, but there's definitely, you, you know, know. Tickle his crinkly feet. I mean, they're gonna do a little bit more than tickle his goddamn feet, dude. <laughs> But I don't think they're gonna like cut his fingers off. Yeah. You know, I don't think they're gonna make it like. Dude, I, I really don't know, honestly. I don't know what this situation because he has information. They know, you know, he they need, they want, they want this treasure map. Remember, uh -huh. treasure map. Treasure map. Treasure map. You got it, robot. <laughs> so, should we wait for the others to pull into the harbor, like the Salarin and the others? He literally said he wouldn't be here for two days. All right then, fuck him. <laughs> yeah. It's Salarin's fault. She, her fault. Um. I heard my name, but that's it. <laughs> um. Well. I, I hope they're saying nice. Do you have? Me. Are you are you a wealthy person? No. I'm gonna. I, I guess I'm just gonna start. Do they have a tavern here? They do. No, then I'll probably just dog stay dog. there. Go to the Red Wine Tavern. Red Vine Tavern? Yeah. A red wine? <laughs> God, it's literally right there. I'm pointing to it. You point out the ship window. Wait, <laughs> yeah. uh, that building over there? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Red Red Wine Tavern. I'll go there. Because I'll probably just stay there. Dude, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of gold. I'm probably going to need to find a job here or something. Would you like me to help you find a job? That would be fucking the tits. The tits, buddy. Please don't use tits around my kids. 
you see uh, Sebastian comes up and he's like, Daddy, what the, <laughs> what does book. tits mean? Uh, uh, no. No. Oh, tits! <laughs> Delete. Delete. <laughs> You're just scratch shaking his head. <laughs> Control. Alt, daddy, delete. daddy. <laughs> um, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yo, dude, is that robot okay to be touching that kid like that? <laughs> My son. What do you mean it's a goddamn son, dude? You're a robot. Uh, so, Eddie, do you have any, uh, what was yeah. your, what was your job when you were part of the Black Hand? What do you mean? I did the do- dirty work. Like, I, 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 you start at the bottom, right, man? You start as a grunt, and as you, you just kind of make your way up whenever, you know, it's a violent uh, organization, and spots open up, let's say, right? Yeah. And you start making your way to the top. You got to do things you don't like to do. You got to, you get to do things you like to do, man. It's not, I'm not saying it's all horrible. Mm-hmm. Can I join? Could you join that? Sure, buddy. I mean, I'm not saying it's even like, you know, they're not, I wouldn't consider them... <clears throat> I would maybe consider them evil, maybe. I don't know, man. I, I've seen some shit, dude. But I, I would say be careful, man. But that's definitely a place where you can make money if that's what you want to do. What's the worst? What's the worst thing you can remember them doing? What, like stories? Like I've heard or like I've That you personally or... encountered. That I've been a part of? What's the worst thing that comes to your mind that you've been well, a part of? Well, the or thing I done? told you. Like Remember? killing the, the children? They ordered me to kill yeah. the woman and the, and the child. And yeah. I said, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the end of it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's also, you know, there's been many times, you know, you you, you get an order to fucking just, you know, send a squadron of troops down to just pick someone up out of their bed while they're sleeping and drag them off, man. You mm-hmm. know? Sometimes, like, you know, it's just in the middle of the night. They come for you. You got to do it. Right. And sometimes you got to kill. Um, I mean, well, uh, how many more details do you want? I'm just trying to get a skip. I just want to know what I'm in for. Did you or what we're in for. Yeah. So. I agree. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you did the dirty work. Uh, I mean, this is a small town. They're a startup company, let's say. Uh, they're going to need some vital hands. So, uh, like, I mean, what, what would you like to do, I guess? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess. Uh, I mean, I've lived a lot. Maybe killing stuff. Maybe like a. You a hunter? I can be a hunter, man. I can shoot. That's what I've been trained to do. Let's take you to the town hall. See if we can get you set up. All right, and you guys go to the town hall. And are you going with him, John? What? Sorry, what are we doing? We're going getting to... his hunting license. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to get him a hunting license. So <laughs> you guys head over to the town hall. And you can see, um, yeah, you, it, it looks like a nice, you know, like the whole town looks very new. It hasn't been around for very long. Um, and you can see it's almost like a large log cabin that this uh, town hall is constructed of. And you also see, as you guys enter, you see your good friend Raffled. Because oh, inside, Raffled. you know, you got just some, like, you have some low-level soldiers you can see they're just kind of men that just you know have swords and they don't have much armor like leather armor you guys look way more prepared for battle than these gentlemen but um uh yeah you guys see raffled and he sees he goes good morning gentlemen how can i help you today hey so we have our friend here yeah his name is eddie his name is eddie all right nice to meet you eddie and he says hey buddy how's it going and uh they shake hands um he wants to be a part of this community, uh, and, you know, I think he would be an excellent hunter if you need one of those. To... Perfect, of course. Yeah. We could always use more hunters. This this island here uh, the, the, that we have founded our city on is yeah. definitely thriving full of wolves down into the west in the woods. Uh, do you eat wolf meat? I mean, you don't want to waste any of it. Of course. Hmm. What kind of game is there? I mean, the, there is there are deers, there are you know wolves. Those are the you know there's a couple owl bear, bears out there, but you know nothing too crazy. Yeah. Owl bears. Eddie, are you ready to face an owl bear? Big fuckers. And he goes, I I will buy myself owl bear. I would like an there... owl bear. You would like it? Let's go hunt owl bears, buddy. Is there a group? Is there a group of hunters in this and city? And he says. 
Uh, are you talking about the Monster, Monster Hunting Guild? There's a Monster Hunting Guild in here? Oh, no, not here. The Monster Hunting Guild in Res. That's where you can go pay... You can go grab contracts to hunt monsters for money. If you are so inclined. That sounds pretty sweet. I mean, if you're looking to make money, you need... Hey, you need payments? <laughs> go to check out the Monster Hunting Guild. Or, I mean, go to the arena. You know. Like There's an arena? The There's side. the Coliseum. Coliseum of Heroes in Nazelli. They're one. They're ones for the gamblers, but uh, you know, I'm not really a fan of Nazelli. That those people can be kind of twisted sometimes. But I, I would be lying if I said I had not gone to the Coliseum of Heroes before. Um, I, you know, just wouldn't want any Black Hands members living inside my city. Right. Like and Eddie says, I, "Yeah." And Eddie's like just like, "Yeah." <laughs> Maybe we should go pick up an application. Yeah. Why? Well, he says, "Yeah, you see, uh, Eddie turns over and he goes, an application for the Coliseum, man." Yeah. He goes, "Dude, you should. It's definitely violent in there. They they try to keep people from dying. They they have a whole philosophy, but I've definitely seen people die in the Coliseum. Violence. But I've seen lots of people make money. Are, is it people against people, or is they face? It depends monsters. what you want to do. You can go in there. You can you can do waves of monsters." Or you can take out, there's heroes in there that, you know, make, you know, there's all kinds of groups, there's guild groups that make it a sport. Like, most people don't die in the Coliseum, get that straight. Like, it's a pretty, they can teleport you out of there. There's a whole sport. No one here plays football. What? Huh? huh? I know, it's a, it's a, some weird thing they do off in, uh, you know, distant lands. But here, they like to watch the Colise uh, Coliseum of Heroes. Hmm. Well, I have that jotted down in my notes. Uh, sounds like a good uh, Saturday evening. So um, let's. Um, okay, but no. Is there a group of is there a group of hunters in this city that, or is he gonna be like the only one? Uh, he says. Raffold says. Well, I mean, there's uh, Zoldar. He's uh, the the current. He's the only wolf hunter we have in our city. Well, yo. Well, Eddie, I guess you're gonna be acquainted with Zildar. I guess so. Wait, oh, Zildar? Was he fucking in, in Barovia? Oh, you remember him? He went to the castle with you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah he's come actually, here to, uh, you know. I haven't seen him in several years. He doesn't talk much since his brother's death. Oh, well. Fucking big way. Um. But, uh, God damn, man. Yeah. Uh, this is for a good cause. Yeah. Just yeah, Eddie, you can be his new brother. Yeah. Okay, dude, whatever. Um, all right, well, there, there's that. Sweet. So he got, yeah, and you see Eddie, like, takes out his crossbow. He's like, I, you know, I came prepared for the job. I can do this shit. And he's like, yeah, just, you know, you see Raffold. He's like, just talk to, uh, you know, uh, Zoldar. He'll get you something, hopefully, if you can, you know, kill. And, yeah. And then he says, well, thanks, buds. Uh, I'm going to probably stay at the Red Wine Tavern for, you know, a couple days here till I can get my, you know, feet cool. on the ground. Just keep... I'm definitely going to keep a low profile. Do you want... He's left. We'll say you guys are outside the front Wait. of the... You guys are outside the front of the hall. Like, Raffle said goodbye. He's like, hey, close one, dude. He almost, you know... Eddie. I don't think he'd be happy to know that I was in the Black Hand at one point. Eddie, do you want this? And you I... were in the Black Hand? Hey, keep it down, buddy. Yes, goddamn robot, dude. I say, Eddie, hey, do you want this, uh, do you want this gold watch? I don't, I don't want it. He's gonna give me a gold watch? Some starting money. Sure, dude. How, uh, does it have an ID? ID 77. Oh. <laughs> do you guys do anything at night in the small village of, uh, New Barovia? Uh, where's, where's, the, where's all the action at? Uh, you say, Eddie says, I don't know, man. I've never been here before. <laughs> you guys want to go yeah. to the only tavern in town? Uh, sure. I'll, I'll watch you bet something. You're going to watch me bet, man. Yeah. All right. Are you I, good, I, I, are you hey, good uh, um... he just <laughs> You guys go into the tavern. He throws the gold watch on the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> put it all in the house. Uh, and you can see uh, people come over, just like uh, a crowd already starts gathering. First round. And uh, yeah, he goes, says, he goes, let's do it. We're going to do a game of dice. Uh, and you see like this uh, this big fat man kind of comes up. And he goes, yeah, dude, I'll, I'll match it. 
And then he says, "You ah, all right? You gonna see this cab? Watch this. I'm gonna get you two another extra gold watch watch." Okay, fine. All right, and so you can see, um, Eddie. Eddie will be the black. You can see they they start they a crowd is gathered. People are already doing side bets and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can see the gold watches on the table as well as like a sack of gold next to it of what it's worth. And they start rolling. And you can see the newcomer wins the first of three rounds. It's first one to three. Okay. And you see Eddie's like, oh, god damn it, dude. <laughs> okay. And you, Eddie wins the second round. And you can see, right there, boy. Right okay. there's what I'm talking about, dude. All and right. Uh, Two out of three. All right. And Eddie wins. Woo! And Eddie goes, yeah. what up, boy? And uh, he, he swipes off the shit off the table and sweeps it into a bag. What's it up, dude? Is. That was pretty close, dude. For a second there, I thought I was fucked. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. so, um... I would have been like, that all for not? All for nigh. So, you guys head back to the ship, and... Do you guys want to stay the night at the ship? Is that what you're planning? Like, Eddie says, I mean, is it cool? If, well, if you guys are going to stay in, you know, harbor, I might as well get a free night at your ship, right? I mean... Maybe I'm assuming too much. I did give you uh, your, your goddamn gold watch bag, buddy. Yeah, because I gave it to uh, you. Oh, sure, dude. Birthday. I mean, the, 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 the specifics aren't as important. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, dude. And we did not, save your life. I, I agree. And I also helped you uh, give you a badge and get you in the back yeah. entrance of Nazelli, man. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I don't care about you sleeping on the ship. Is what I'm oh, okay, good. I was like, damn. <laughs> Old motherfucker. Um, so you guys head back to the ship, and that's where you see Howard still there with flare on. Um, <laughs> and that's when the ship pulls in. We'll say it's about. Um, we'll say it's noon. <laughs> so it's noon of Fabander twenty fourth as Sadler and ship pulls in to the small city. Of New Barovia, and that's when Towered wakes up. The whole past couple days have been a blur. <laughs> okay, wait. So listen. Um, so, um, you guys were right at the beginning, the midnight, entering into Fevander Twenty First. Right is where you left off. Okay. So you were in the early morning, the early hours of Fevander Twenty First. It is now Fevander Twenty Fourth. And we're in the. Uh... New Barovia. Barovia. That's everything that's happened since you've been gone. And you can see Eddie walks up and he's like, yeah, nice to meet you again, uh, Elephant Man. I don't think we really talked, but... Uh, hello, it's your boy, Howard Compress. This is my son, your boy. And this is my wa uh, uh, this is my friend, Esmeralda. And uh, you can see, <laughs> as you kind of once again show off your... He's like, oh, I'm crying now, is there anything? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see, he's like, yeah, the, the kid looks uh, definitely pretty unique. Rick. <laughs> Rick. Half uh, raven, half were raven, all dirty. All... Were raven? Uh, no. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No. Was, they're, they're rare. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about, ravens? Have you ever heard of the keepers of the feather? Never heard of them. All right, we'll leave it at that. And that ends the story of you and I. <laughs> well, what are they? Oh, uh, just some people who like to keep birds. And sometimes <laughs> an ancient bird keeper uh, group. That's from, pretty cool, dude. From Barovia, and they, uh, you know. Migrated up this way, up north. Ah, oh, that's really interesting, man. I don't know what Barovia is. Oh, well, you see, over there. <laughs> oh, I know this is new Barovia. I know this is a new one. Um, yeah, we can introduce you to. Uh, have you ever been to the old Barovia? Uh, uh, no, actually, I just talked oh, to him. Amazing. <laughs> I just met him for the first time. He, he told me ship. to go talk to some guy named Zolda to help kill wolves around here. Ah. That's my job, I guess. Gonna be my job. I'm listen, dude. I'm just doing anything to keep under the guy, you know, the the eye of the black hand. How do you feel about the gauntlet boy up north? I mean, they're they're all right. They're, they don't like me. Right. I, I I when I was part of the black hand, I definitely did some things that you know I'm not proud of, nor that other people would like, including the gauntlet. So my name, I kind of have no home anywhere. You know what I mean? And I kind of don't make my situation better by giving you guys more information. 
We've all made mistakes, my friend. Well said, dude. You say that with a smile. I don't like it. Uh, so you guys, um, and we will make more. And, and that's you when you see, one of those that's, that's when you see Blackstrap ship pull in. Oh, I thought you were going to say the. Boys, and you can so. see all the pirates. You know they're manning the mast and pointed in as you guys pull. And you see Eddie says, "You guys want to?" Or you see Irina says, "Should we go over to Salarin's ship and maybe talk?" Sure. All right. So you guys head over to the the new ship that's pulled in, and you can see there is your friend. Salarin. Oh! No. <laughs> and you can see there's also... Okay, so... Okay. And you guys see there's Bradburn as you guys walk onto the ship and he's like, Hey there, fellas! You guys ready to talk more about getting back the good captain? Bradburn, my god! And you can see there's also Dex and he's like, Yar! Uh, come on aboard, everyone! Uh, we got many things to talk about. My friends, you look great! And you can see there's also just a, a there's a elven man up there, and you can see he's very quiet. And he goes as you walk up, and he goes, "It's good to see you again, Talon. It's been quite a while." Who is this? Uh, you know it as Nile. This is Nile. Ah, Mr. River. How <laughs> good. <laughs> oh, I hate how you would always call me always call me that. I I remember why. Schwab, yeah, Schwab is always my pasty pasty friend. Good to see you. Ah yes, Tower. Is Bradburn a human? Uh, you do know Bradburn is a human. So and you guys are all standing here and, uh, you can see yeah Bradburn's like so what are we doing to get back to captain? Are we uh going into swinging guns a blazing into the uh, Nazelli? Why is that what you want to do? Uh, no, because <laughs> I'm I'm saying I'm trying to stay the fuck out of it. I I don't want to die. <laughs> Coward, who is this inbred man? Coward, do you remember me? He looks more intimidating than he is. <laughs> he looks more intimidating than he is? Yeah, is that what he looks uh, yeah. like? What are you trying to say? Um, I, do, uh, I do uh, like a tap, tap of my uh, staff on the ground. And is everyone the, turns the over. Crew, the crew of... Uh, what is the name of our ship? The Black Crab. It's Molasses. I thought that was his last name. He's <laughs> Captain Blackstrap of the, 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 oh, the ship. Oh, I always thought the it was his last name. Okay. It, it, it is like it's part of his name now. Yeah, yeah I think okay. that was completely improv, but I like it. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the molasses, right? So, yeah, it's... And you see, uh, um, I just, the crew of the he goes, Yar, it's falls, the molasses! Falls silent. It doesn't move fast, like, but you pack a tower sticky punch. It's good to see you. <laughs> With it again, you kind of went a little weird there for a couple days. I had a bit of a... a, <laughs> a I like your boy. <laughs> a meltdown. Some, something he ate, Yar. Ah, um, you, you met my boy, your boy. I come up to, uh, you, I come my boy, up your to boy. your boy, and I do... Can I roll for slide of hand? Oh boy. Sure. <laughs> oh boy, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? Oh, oh, slip my finger in. <laughs> um, pull out. Is it uh, something you need to message me? <laughs> no. Well, it's, it's just super just like. Okay, go on. It's And it just runs off. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets really fucking fucked up. Tower, oh. it's good to see you again. He <laughs> <laughs> kills his firstborn and then. Uh, <laughs> with uh, 19. Uh, yeah, with the I, 19, mean, what, don't what I, doing, I don't know what you're but, doing. Uh, with so. the 19, I walk up to your boy and I'm Ooh, and behind one of his giant elephant ears. This is the elephant boy, right? Oh, yeah, he's yeah, half elephant. elephant there. All right, I produce a piece of candy and hand it to And him. you can see he's just clapping his. He's three or something. <laughs> yeah, he's very, he's very, young very, very young. Super young. Boy. And you can see he's just. <laughs> <laughs> what candy is it? Did he just poop? Yes. It's good oh, to see boy. you've been growing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> are you she does not come. Anyways, so what do you guys want to do? I'll tuck you in. <laughs> hey, Dex says, Yar, yeah, Salarin, you're going to say something. Salarin was going to say, <laughs> uh, what is it that you all decided while you were at sea? We were able to leave port without issue. Um, the captain. I believe we're going so, south. Correct? I have this. Yard, the captain is in Nazelli. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, here's Nazelli. And we are in New Barovia. He points can on the we, map. Can we port? Oh, we can dock at Ham. Ham Yard. Hamist is where you, if we want to get to Nazelli, that's where we dock first. Is it safe to dock there, Edward? 
what? Eddie. Edward? Uh, Eddie? You can see Eddie. Yeah, I guess Eddie is here, right? Yeah. And you can see Eddie says, uh, well, Hamist wasn't originally part of the Black Hand. They're kind of a new addition. Um, they're definitely, you know, good buddies. They're, they're, they're part of the same kind of legion there. They do what the Black Hand says. But, uh, I mean, it depends what you mean by safe. Like, what do you mean? Anyone can pull into Hamist and be fine and go through the city. Anything, but, you know, I'm not going there because I'm wanted. I mean, does, does that make sense? Like, what mm -hmm. what do you mean by unsafe? I, yeah, I mean, They're not going to cut your head off just for random people walking in. Correct. They're pretty good open borders. Everyone around here, you can go into anywhere you want. It's just... On Don't be wanted. Hey, you might see a wanted poster of your goddamn face plastered all over the sides of the walls, but you know. I I turn to the rest of the room and like, have we like made a name for ourselves in a notorious fashion yet? Uh, <laughs> no, you haven't been a part of our recent adventure, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have been extricated from the community. Um, well, take this moment. So I, got it. <laughs> I have um, Eddie gave me this, and I pull out the uh, the badge. A black hand badge. Mm -hmm. Dark. So, this will be this will be able to get me, or whoever has it, um, access to secret places. Um, but only one of us can do that. Yes. Um, he, uh, Eddie here explained that there is a back entrance into the black hand's hideout. And there's definitely some traps in there if you go that way. You know what I'm saying? They got mm -hmm. cha revolving doors of traps. I'm just saying it, it's, you know, it's it's dangerous, but it's possible. Um, so, yeah, I have that, and um, that's all I got. Has <laughs> anyone traveled on the Razorback Trail yet? Uh, us? Well, yeah, I mean, any catch has been here for me. So the, just a, a side note, everything that they've done last session took place within Curios. They did not leave the walls of Curios. Okay. If that helps. Has you. anyone traveled down south yet? I mean, like you and yeah. um, several of we you. found it best to avoid those negative parties. As, as you can see, that was a good call until the captain's disappearance. I point to this part of the map and I was like, can we dock in here somewhere? He says, uh, oh wait, who are you talking to? Um, Just in general. Yeah, you can see, um, Gex, uh, Gex, Dex speaks up and he goes, Yar, uh, we could definitely, you know, we don't have any little rowboats, Yar. Uh, so, but I'm saying we could pull in there, lower anchor out in the middle of the water, Yar, and, and then swim or get some boats and sail them ashore. That's And then you'd have to hike, Yar. It's definitely a lot more thick foliage than going on a road, Yar, but none of that's impossible. It's just going to take more time, Yar. More conspicuous, though. More conspicuous, that is true, Yar. And you see Eddie speaks up and he goes, and I did say that the, the entrance, the back entrance, is on that uh, eastern side. Mm. Sounds like we should be going on the eastern side, then. <laughs> the eastern side. I couldn't care. But, uh... Why not just start in Hamist and then... I agree, that does also sound like a valid plan. Considering they don't uh, care about us. Well, I wouldn't want to have to bushwhack our way uh, through. But, but what about... What if we docked in Hamas and a small battalion of us were to depart and make for Nizeli while the so rest of us so swung you're saying the ship back to the eastern side of this section of the island? You want to split the party? Well, mm. well, did you bring headphones? <laughs> <laughs> what? I might have brought ear amplifiers. <laughs> ear amplifiers. Um. <laughs> Pulls out gigantic wooden like gramophone bells. Well, yeah. What does Saladin think of that? Um, the party is in, you know, the ones who are... Whatever results in the most guys. expedient rescue of our dear Captain Blackbeard as his existence Strap. Black strap. You started it this time. Um. I would merely suggest it would be easier to... Export the captain from this areola by avoiding the main <laughs> road and or other city, also controlled by the Dark Hand. What? 
They wouldn't suspect us with anything, though. Well, Why we can't break, we all we break them out? Just be friends. This, I... this is a huge city, though. Sorry. I agree. Why can't we just take the tier and then go around to the eastern side? Why right. do we have to go... No, 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 no. I'm saying you and me and Jog are... This is a day's journey to get over here. Right, but by... <laughs> we take a day to get here and they bring their boat over here. And then we'll take a day. Or even over here. And, then and you we... see Bradbird's like... Hey, yeah, man. I mean, we'll, we'll, we could definitely swing the ship around and pick you guys up on the back entrance if that's what you're saying. That's I, I, that's where I'm. That's where my head's at. I mean, if you give us enough time, we could even get closer. Maybe uh, get in right, that right in the cove, maybe. But a cove I, I, I do know we do have to be careful because there are on the coast there. They do watch that, you know. Um, and, but it's not, you know, it is definitely what about not nearly as guarded. Eddie. What? Yo, what up, dude? <laughs> Speech switch. Um, what are, what are the chances that the dear leader of your ex Black Hand membership, uh, Marcus? Uh huh. What about him? Uh, he's willing to negotiate. He would definitely be willing to negotiate. I can already tell you that. The, I mean, I don't know exactly the specifics, but he, the Black Hand is is an organization that likes to wheel and deal. They're really about their trade and making sure, you know, all the goods get transported. Whether, you know, Curios, those, those you know, gauntlet motherfuckers, they don't, they don't deal with... It's not a free market. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You can't get anything you want over there. If you go to Nazeli Hamas, you go to Rez, dude, you can get anything. You go to the Grand Exchange, man, there's plenty of shit you'll, you'll find. That's... Oh, you, though. <laughs> <laughs> At the Grand Exchange? Hell yeah, man. Um... It's fresh from Lumbee. Um, Lumbee. what if, what if we did purchase some, what if we did purchase some, uh, some little rowboats, and I point to the map, you see this river right here? That's not a river. There's no river here? That's a hex. Oh, you mean... The blue part? That blue river. <laughs> okay, that is a small river, sure, we'll say. Um, what Except if... there's two... What if we, okay. if we are gonna do that plan? Can adjust more later. What if mm -hmm. we start here? They drop us off. They <laughs> sail over all. here to this river, and then they get a rowboat the and they only take it the all the way up, yeah. so, and then they wait here. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can use this as like a way out of there inconspicuously. Eddie says, oh, God. "Those rivers there." Yeah. <laughs> They're definitely more of a one. It's a runoff yeah, from the right. mountain, right? Oh, it's gonna be there's yeah, waterfalls exactly. and there's things. I'm not saying to, I would say it could work one way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think us going upstream trying to get up those things are gonna work out. Yeah. I also think it's gonna be dangerous going down the waterfalls, but you know, you maybe not die. So we purchase the boats in the valley, and then we take them out to sea that way, and just don't die on the waterfalls. I know there ain't a whole lot of boats being sold in the Zelly, but you know, I'm sure right. you can find some. The, 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 the hobbit down in here. It's connected to a mountain. Like, hard yeah, to like you're gonna, it's hard to find a boat up in the mountain. Like. So, what exactly is your goal in the Zelly? What's the tact with which you hope to approach Marcus? I could give a fuck about Marcus. I just want the captain. Well, Marcus has the captain. Right. I think so Salomon. Salarin's trying to say he'll they, also trade. They own the, trade the cap they own the entire city. We're talking about like a whole city right. of people. Oh, we go on. <laughs> so listen, I, I I know Marcus. He would be willing I'm not sure about the specifics of what exactly. Like I, I, I was telling these guys a couple of days ago. Um it's he's not the kind of guy that's just gonna you're gonna walk into his throne room and he says off with the head because they looked at me wrong. Like he they have their own law. Like, you could say they're lawful, right? Um, you can go in there. You can talk to Marcus, even. I'm sure you got... He, he's a man who likes dealing. The whole organization, remember? They're really into, like, free market, that whole kind of thing. Their ideologies would be in line with you if you wanted to go in there and, you know, maybe wheel and deal. I'm not sure what he'll do, but I'm sure, dude, if you had enough gold, there's probably not a whole lot is that he, you'd... Is he kind of like one of those libertarians? I guess you could say that, man. You know, free market. <laughs> Hands off, laissez-faire. I've heard of them. They're kind 
is scary. <laughs> no, scary. Um, it's the future, man. It's the future. It's the future. <laughs> no, I'm more um, fucking socialist. Kind of my guy, so. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys want to do? Um, well, I'm going to throw that plan out the window. But I'm saying, you know, so you got two options. You want to go talk to him or you want to go in the back way well, and gonna... fight. Do you have the Do map? both. One group talk to him, the other group. So he looks up, he goes, Bradburn says, the, the map was stolen with the captain. He kept yeah, it on him okay. at all times. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you got, there's two things technically missing, I guess. Because we definitely want to get the captain back, but we definitely... If you wish to combine them, you could call it the map gym. <laughs> what he said. Salarin's in the lead. Uh, she said. Um, so, and he says, yeah, so, I mean, we definitely want to get the captain back, but we also want this... He looks around, he goes, treasure. Because the treasure is pretty big. I don't know if he told you about it. Why would they want both of them? Why would they want both the captain and the map? I feel like and he goes, uh, you, you can see um, um, Niles interjects, and he goes, I really don't talk much about it. No, uh, I explain how the character is out loud instead of going through the story. Um, they were they were all stolen together, including, you know, Kip and, and all of them. They So they were all just kind of a bundled deal for that, that map, is what I'm at least assuming here. Does that kind of make sense? Like... Because, let, let me tell you more, this map, right, uh -huh. this map we found, it's ancient. We can't decipher it. We, we don't know who's listening. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, and he says, well, we're on our boat. We're on our boat, so. And you guys are below deck, too. He goes, I think we're, we're safe for now. We, I mean, the reason we called you out here is, hey, we missed you. Good to see you. But also, <laughs> hey, Tower. The, 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 the treasure at oh, the shit. end of this hey. map is what if you, what if you get here? invaluable during, you know, after the unfortunate events of the Kraken, a small portion of the crew was able to cling to the wreckage and, and survive. No the screams of yeah, the rest as they were so. taken away by the beast were something I'll never forget. But, on huh? a nearby isle, uh, we were marooned for over two years about. Holy fuck. And on that island, we found the remnants of a very, very old voyage cavern in which we found the map. And the reason that you don't see more of the crew today is they mutinied in an attempt to get a hold of it. The captain and I were able to put them down, but let's just say we we didn't want for food after that. And uh, yeah, it's just quiet for a moment. And then you can see Niles speak up and he goes, so yeah, we're after that map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they and, were hungry and we because can't, they need to kill we, people. And we don't know what? how to read the map. What's the heart? What was the Why? tastiest part? Because we can't read it. it. It's in a language we've never seen. Well, the paradigm. One that we've never seen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, he <laughs> says once again, we can't read the map. It's in a language we don't understand. And now we do not. We need the map. And the captain. We the captain, I would we say, should be priority. Some breakthroughs with deciphering the map. It's almost oh well you see you see you see uh niles he, he, Niall, he speaks he goes i can read magic i have a spell comprehend language but it does not work on this map cool. so so how far away was this isle relative to this island he goes uh, niles speak up he goes it's very far south of here so it's kind of like a southwestern trajectory, if if that if you're so inclined. It, it it's it's a couple. It's, it's on the other side of a continent. Let's say. How, I don't feel as if big? it's something that we could find again if we try. That's what I was saying. Like, we what? found I remnants of other, you know, past wrecks, and it, it had a it had a very lost, forgotten vibe, as if it was magically hidden. Niall says. I, we I could were, maybe find it if we needed to. We well, were barely able to scrap together a, 
a ship with what was left of years and years of refuse and wreckage. How big this would this empire be? That what empire? Gonna, I'm sure whatever entity left the map, like, how far does it stand? You see, um, Dex stands up and he goes, Yar, the map here. We we can't even read the language, Yar. I understand. That's what I... I so... What you, I'm trying to say. I understand. I'm trying to answer your question, Yar. Okay. And your question is... The ones who made this map, how big are their forces? Right. And Am I correct in saying that? I'm not? trying to see, like, w- would there would any remnants be on this island? Any remnants of... Of their empire or... The reason we are on this island is this is from the, the, the small amount of information we were able to gather. This is where it pointed us to. Mm-hmm. So, this... And, and, and Yar, just to clarify, this map, right, in the chest that we found on this remote island, Yar, mm-hmm. could have been brought there. It's not like we find it in Yar, little temple things. Like, this was something, we, we've been stranded on an island, Yar, yeah. out in the middle of where the shipping the shipping lines do not match. Seed. One second. <laughs> um. So, this map, right? was inside a chest, unmarked chest, Yar. Mm -hmm. So it could have come from anywhere. Someone Mm -hmm. got rid of it, Mm -hmm. Yar, or buried it for a later point, Yar, and never came back. And we found it Mm -hmm. while on this island, Yar. Does that answer your question? Right, I... Yeah. He goes, I'm I'm trying to recollect the map. I can see it now. It does, there's random symbols never seen before. There is an eye on it. Could you draw it out? For sure. Would you and say he takes out. Do you mean like the letter or the appendage? The appendage jar. <laughs> and uh, so he takes out a piece of paper and he draws out an eye. And you can see it has. Uh, he draws like two teardrops on either side of it. And he goes. <laughs> oh, like, like this. One. And he goes, "Yar, <laughs> like this." And I'm and I just go, uh, "Shower." Like that. What? Does, does that look familiar to you? You see, Dex draws an it's eye. It's the map. 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 It goes like that, Yar. It's the map. I, I take. Um, it is as if it had two teardrops on the left. I, I, I take one look at it, and I'm just like. Scudbutt. Oh yes. Who's that? Kip was <laughs> never the you? same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you. I'd, I'd wondered if you'd forgotten about that ill-fated adventure, but some of the symbols did seem to line up. I say, uh, how could I forget? And then I pull little Waldo out from like my bag. That cat's still alive. Yeah. That's surprise. He can't die. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> you just chuck him let, over. Let's, <laughs> and, okay. and you see Bradburn speaks up and he goes, "Well, let's not make it too dead, Maroos. We should probably get a, you know, get the other one before things bad things happen." The other what? The other Maru. What? Scudbutt's brother, Kip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but of course, I thought. Um. Kip, you know, the gnome, his brother. Where are we going to do pizza? Do any of you know about... I can do pizza. Okay, we should probably over there. There's... Yeah. Yeah, it's on the treasure map. Yes, but do you know... Have you heard of... Uh, Sharon? What was... What was its name? That foul creature? I... I, I dare... It's only if something I must. Like... If I, I heard. If I must speak its name, it, speak its name. it was Zalakar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shudder. I shudder at the thought. Zalakar. But. Sounds like a metal band. <laughs> I prefer Opeth. But. We, um, we fought his cultists. We tried to bring him back from the dead. That is when Scudbud perished. Some odd years ago, I forget how many, like 12 or 20. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Some large span of time. 
I believe, well, that's pretty cool, I guess. I believe so that now was I'm kind of like, why do we want this? That was the first time that you stood up like a man. I pr- You pr- Oh, it's got blood. <laughs> I, I do have a flask. Um, sure. I, I, like, pour, I take a sip and then I pour just a little Salad bit out. Salad and just like a ching, ching. <laughs> I pour a little bit out for good bud. And uh, pour a little I bit cast, out. um, um, uh, thermaturgy or uh, thermaturgy and the, the poured, um, whiskey just glows a little bit with the holy radiance. Okay, so now I know what we're dealing with and fuck that, but, uh, if there's some treasure that has to do with Zalakar, I mean... Probably gonna be cool. Probably gonna be big. Bradburn says he speaks up and he goes, "Look, man, you've never heard of this treasure, the sacred treasure map, though." No. So and he goes, "Jabberuk has an ancient legend of this map. Oh, this map okay, with the yeah. eye, and it's said to have treasures <clears throat> beyond one's imagination." And this has been things for, you know, my grandpappy told me about it, and his grandpappy told him about it. And listen, man, I'm not really one into to putting out risks, right? You know, but this is one motherfucking safe bet if I've ever seen one, dude. And I just want to, I just want to change my life. From what we were able to tell on the island, there does appear to be some credence to this tale or we would not have remained here we wanted your assistance and thus we contacted you after hearing of your adventures in Barovia we heard tell you were alive um please help us get the captain and we will gladly share in the spoils of the treasure oh I'm all up to get blushed um can no, we at least no agree question. you want to get blackstrap? Oh, for no sure. question, I want to get blackstrap. And now listen, you know, one day I'm gonna die. Uh, if we follow, <laughs> if we if we follow down this uh, trajectory, yeah, I can tell you nothing too good is gonna come. Well, it's, people are gonna we're gonna lose something. Might be important. And you see Might Bradburn be just kind of sitting there. He's just staring <laughs> off at it's the eye symbol. Rush time. Last time I, last time I, uh, encountered this symbol was nothing but blood, Salarin and death, Jenna and pain. Walks over to the side of the ship, just clunk, 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 and just kind of wistfully stares off to the side and just says, "We must find that treasure. We must find the captain." And uh, you listen, I'm down. I'm like I said, I'm gonna die one day. I mean, I'll, I'll do it for this. I'm just letting you know, I might not be the only one. I'm just saying this is like some evil dark magic shit, and I mean, I'm not opposed to it. And you see... Rather excited, a little bit, if I'm being honest, but I'm just saying... Didn't I hear tell about some horrible curses that used in assistance of your greater goal of ridding strong? Oh, not me. Oh, well, I'm... I'm Loki aware of ridding strong. And you, and you see <laughs> get Dex speaks I've, up I've and he goes... I've you mentioned it twice in the span of like ten minutes. It's <laughs> not very low-key, but it's cool. Goes, <laughs> and you're afraid, Yar? <laughs> oh, no. Well... Afraid of what? Mm. And he points down at the piece of paper and he goes, You're afraid of the treasure, Yar. Only a fool would, would say they weren't. You have you make good words here. I'm not saying I'm not, but I'm saying I don't believe that it's oh, you a don't, curse. You don't, mm, 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 mm. Tell me, friend, have you ever seen so much blood not concentrated in, in one areola that you, uh, you know, you couldn't breathe, you couldn't move, you could just watch in horror as your friend was torn to bits in said pool. And you can see Dex is just staring, and he's like, Yar, if this bet right here, and he points at the paper, promise me is me uh, that I don't have to work another day of my life, Yar, then I'm willing to risk all that blood. Because knife, you, you, uh, you look at me, and he goes, I've had to kill my own fair share, some of our brothers. Edworth. Do you remember Edworth Yar? He mutinied sure. against the captain. He wanted to kill the good Captain Yar. And I had to kill him with my own hands. And he looks down and he goes, 
You understand, boy, I've had to do a lot more for this treasure and for me to throw it aside to say it's all just poppycock. <laughs> Yar! And he's, and he's saying, he goes, a particularly good butcher after that as well. And you can see, he like <laughs> turns away and he walks over to the edge. And then it's in another dramatic. What do you say? This is Dex, the lizard guy. And you can see Brad Burn, he just kind of turns away and he goes, it, it has not come a free cost that we've gotten as far as we've gotten. I follow the captain and to do that, we have to, we have to find the captain. Then you would have been on the other, you would have been on the, the good side of the mutiny, my friend, because there were, there were people who did not want the good captain to survive. Oh. you you're looking particularly We've seen some pretty crazy shit, dude. I'm not yeah. saying, like, you know... Oh, Yar, I'm not trying to belittle what you've seen, Yar. Right, I'm just right, trying right. to tell you that we have also seen some things. I've seen now, worse Dick. things. No, I've worse seen things. worse things. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. no, I what need to go could a robot nervous. possibly have seen? Never mind. How many... How many uh, marooners survived the Kraken? How many? Uh, well, it was us, and he goes plus you know the two that are missing here and the captain. There were six yeah, others. I meant how many did you have to kill because they wanted to turn on Black Shot? Well, there were eight of them that died in the crash with the Kraken Yar. Rest in peace. Rest you in peace. Their screams as they were dragged down. You prepared. Like I was there. You could hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he the and he goes. He goes. So there was our crew that you you know know about today, plus the six others. Rose, okay. Does Fair that enough. answer your question? You wouldn't turn on the captain. No, we were the ones who didn't turn on the yeah, captain, that's Yar. What I'm Are you saying? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't understand, Yar. No, I'm saying you didn't turn on the captain. You, you stayed loyal. Correct, Yar. And that is why we need to get him back. For the for him or for the map for the. For the Yar. And you see Gex narrows his uh, Dex narrows his eyes and he gets he walks a couple steps closer to the tower and he goes, Are ye doubting my faith with the good captain? I'm merely denying your success. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, no. I'm not questioning your no. <laughs> I'm denying its existence. <laughs> <laughs> it puts you at ease. Is that what you say? The captain is equally I need no. to talk about And you see, the it's been a while. The captain wolf. is equally, uh, so the way to say it, equally uh, emboldened to find this treasure. We all share in this. We have to have some sort of recompense after the horrors we were so doomed to. It would seem Tower has forgotten his crew over couple of spans of time, Yar, and forget who watched his back. My friend, and you see Gex walks back to the uh, Bradburn and the others. My friend, a wise man once told me, prove yourself. <laughs> and we must fulfill this journey of rescuing the captain and finding the treasure of Zemakar to avenge Gip's brother. And I look around, I'm like, Kip is the one who's captured, right? Kip's, yeah. Yeah, Kip is gone. Right, so even more so, That's what he said. the jury, we gotta go get it. Then we, either way, yeah, so we, at least we agree. At least you believe me in that, that level, Yar, but... I will always remain with the captain. That's what I wanted to hear. Exactly, Yar. <laughs> get, uh, you see Niall speak up and he goes, so what is it? What is, what is the plan here? We gotta get the captain. All right. Um, it's at this point that I say I need a moment. I need to go pray at the church. And she uh, walks right. off the ship and begins. Because we're, 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 we're at the we're at the yeah. No, this is where you're at. You're at the heart. Yeah. Um, these little ships down here. I've recently gained the ability to designate a sanctuary for a spell, and this seems like as good as any. What god do you follow? Jesus. My own. What am I supposed to say? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> that church is for the morning, Lord. Oh, Lord, do you serve? <laughs> Any sacred place where the salt yeah, allows others to come and pray. Any port in a storm, y'all. Yeah. Hmm. 
hallowed ground is hallowed ground. We just and can't set foot there. What? <laughs> so she wants. I don't know. She just keeps going. I don't know if I want somebody of. of a non-believer in the morning, Lord. To step, <laughs> he's a, to step into my he's faith. Friends, like, friends, friend, God is good. <laughs> it's okay. God, God is, God is real. Clearly not. At this There's point, only one God. she's this been walking away thing. this whole time, um, ignoring Cap. And wow, what a cut. <laughs> yeah. um, There's only one God, and his name is Chakra. You, Chakra. What? what happens between me and my faith <laughs> has little to do with your own pup. And then she walks away. Um, what do you yell after? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways. Can we see the map again? Whoever yep. has the map? Oh my now, God. I don't claim to be smart, but I would suggest that if we made birth at Hamlet <laughs> and traversed our way to Nizeli, once no. acquiring our beloved captain, I believe it would be very difficult to retraverse back to Hamas and escape that harbor unscathed. But I'm open to discussion about it. And also, I would like to point out I don't have a great alternative solution. Yeah. Either, except my only other alternative would be like go this way and somehow find the boat. Commandeer. Out this this way. We commandeer <laughs> that. <day. laughs> I'm at the church. If you want to do a scene for that, that's fine. Gotcha. Yeah. So you guys are left. You guys are staying on the boat, right? To plan, and you're gonna leave Salarin. I'm. I'm walking over to the. Is anyone the... going with Salarin? No, I. No. Church is from here. I, don't I right. ask. Um, I'm not welcome. I just. So, I don't. I don't. Dex. Dex. <laughs> I'm not welcome there. And you, I pay our respects. I go against every rule. He says <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah. What, what would you call an arch captain? I don't know, like a. First mate. First mate. First mate. First base salary, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and you can see they, they both trudge off into the town. <laughs> and um, acting captain at the moment, but that's we, we can change that. So you guys, as they walk off on, on onto, into the little town in New Barovia. Um, are you talking to me? <laughs> no, no, you're good. I'm talking to them. Oh boy. <laughs> what the fuck did you do to them? And you see <laughs> Adam. You see Brad Bird and he's like, when I wish God could help us now, but I mean, some people. Friends, who do you who do you pray to? Because I don't pray to to no one, sir. Well, friends, I would like to point out what is this area? God ain't is real. This forest, woods, mountain. What is this? This is oh, goes, that, that, that is mountain. That's mountainous era. The whole there's a whole kind of mountain that that's right underneath the city, and the whole area is very rocky and dangerous around there. All the way to the. It's kind of like yeah. The, it's kind of like you so, know, uh, like frontier land. Kind of like frontier ever land. ever. ever it's like you know. You, you're good at, at the forest. Rocky yeah. mountains yeah. and. What about this? Coniferous <laughs> forest. Is there forest any which way from the desert? Or yes. Like the, the, no, there, there's there's thick foliage. So that whole dark green this area you see right here, this all has anywhere you see the blankets of, <laughs> of green, you're gonna see trees. There are trees there if that's what you're asking. I'm just saying my my good friend here is good. <laughs> is very good at traversing us through forests. Oh, then yeah, we we would definitely be good at going through that area. That'd be a forest. I'd call it. Forest, grassland, and underdark. Are my so I days. propose we take the 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 SS Strahd Slayer Buffy, make birth in Hamist, and have the sparing crew who can't fight. Don't we have two ships? Retreat. Yeah, we do have two ships. Why don't actually. we just park one here and one there? Oh, that's a big brain move. Because then we have to. Because then we would have to go back. Get our ship and leave. Well, no, no, I'm no, saying no, no, leave no. like two people on the ship there, and then they leave as soon as we make birth, as my friend here says. And then there'll be like two people on this ship, and then we'll all mm. get to this ship. And they're already gone, coming and back we, to and, and, really escape, like, and then we escape. Too. Because we're taking the bulk of the crew with us. And someone. the other ship can just be it around for extra help collateral if we get into something testy. testy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Who thinks that's a good plan? Or who thinks that's a dumb plan? I, you won't hurt my feelings. I would just like us to Boo. make a plan. I, I just think Job? 
<laughs> I'm with you. I, I think it's, I think that's our best bet. Um, Baby steps. <laughs> Do we want to have one team talk to Marcus while the other team sneaks around the Mark black Mark exactly, my friend. I love Perfect. it. I, I love it. it. Okay, Splitting kind of up the party. Split the party. All right, we're, we're says, so, like so <laughs> one of the two, so we got two teams, Alpha and Omega team. So which way is, uh, who's going well, where? Well, first things first, we must acquire dinghies. Some dinghies. And I or, feel like we could speak to Raffle about that potentially, or we might have to go back to Kyrgios and purchase something. <laughs> Any fishing villages along the shoreline that you know of, Eddie? And you see Eddie, he goes... Uh, most of the most of the stuff is concentrated near the big cities. You know, there's not really much out in the wilderness there. It's pretty. This roast. this island isn't you know super tame, roast. tamed. Did you say roast? Yeah. Uh, so, I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Are there many uh, different like dangerous beasts out in the uh, wilderness? Are there any any what again? Dangerous beasts. Like this. Or like. <laughs> or like packs of like is the wilderness very dangerous yes is it oh yeah man if you get I, I will say that if you're gonna start going off the beaten path you're gonna be you know up against more creatures true but there's like it looks like there are little rivers we could just follow oh right for there. sure I, yeah, I, I, we, I was telling there yeah it's only downstream because it is a mountainous area it's run off so it's, it's run off but, uh, if, but like yeah. if we're leaving if we're leaving that way down the river won't we I mean, it will be easy for us. Encountering waterfalls, though. That's They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? <laughs> so, True. yeah, because I, I, I was like, why don't we get dinghies? Somebody sails them up and go, but like, uh, you can't go it's to mountainous. It's, it's yeah. But going could, back down. They could bring okay. dinghies to the yeah, shore. Yeah, and I don't know, and then I don't know how. I don't know what level classes of uh, rapids there are on this. Like, if, Black if we're getting in, <laughs> like, rapid. three is manageable, four is when you start getting into into some shit. Well, how so. many of us are coming to... That's the, that, that was my next question. Yeah, how exactly. many of us are, is it just... I would believe it would be six, maybe. Well, I don't know. And if we would take Ezzy or Irina... So, well, someone's got to stay in the ship. Or guys, uh, <laughs> I'd be open about that. Um, <laughs> What'd you say? I said I could leave Irene. I mean, I'll be open. <laughs> well, I mean, someone's, someone's <laughs> got to the kid, man. <laughs> someone's got to do it. Yeah, someone's got to stay on the. They need uh, a woman's uh, touch. Let's, let's be honest, says he's more of a man. Well, I, mean, well, I heard that. <laughs> Gertrude can hold on. The now, hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, I forgot the truth is here, too. Yeah. About this Bye, point, Gertrude. Salarin walks back onto the ship with um, Dex. And rejoins the conversation. Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> Must be a quick I was gone for <laughs> it's about 15 minutes on a big city. Um, yeah. listen, so if we were to acquire dinghies, I think this is the myth. Omega's team takes the dinghies after parking. They right, park the molasses. Park the molasses, take the dinghies to the center of the two riverbeds on this part of the island. And that's where we meet them. How we get there from point, I mean, we improvise, we've done it before, we do it again. <laughs> Even if we just have to hike. So my, what are they gonna do, stop us? My initial but, question is little stands. Mm -hmm. What is the tactic we are going to use to get the captain? My friend? Take it away. Yeah, we, that, that, was, that was the first bit. Uh, we were going to uh, and you say, sneak in, but then we were also gonna have some people talk to Marcus. <laughs> And you see how uh, at the same time when not, when the noon is high in the sky. Yeah, but why would we why would we do both? Distraction. To occupy him. And that way if something bad goes down, okay. we're separated. But, <laughs> but here's 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 the thing. Okay. Just because we're distracting Marcus doesn't mean that's distracting the rest of the entire army. I agree. Uh, um uh, yeah, and it's unless, also less intimidating. And unless we get... Huh? It's less intimidating if there's only like three people talking to him. Plus, to six or plus if we keep him occupied, he, I'm sure he's the one that like scrambles everybody for like an emergency of an escape. He's sure to have a bodyguard. So, you know what I mean? Bodyguard. So he would be the one to do all that. But I'm open to hear your I mean, idea. this is not I a small place we're talking about. 
This alley oh, yeah, has city. like a heap. Yeah. So sounds like we should just sneak in then. I think, so. yeah. Yep. So the we could thing, buy black well, strap off of them, that's but we map. won't get the map. It sounds like they won't show the map, and we need the map. Yeah. It sounds like we should just sneak. Then. I um, think we should just sneak. It. But if if we're gonna sneak. We need more of these, and I hold up the badge. We need more of these, and there's gonna be many people being like, show me your badge, and we'll show the badge, and they, I'm sure there's people who keep tabs on what everyone looks like. I guarantee you, they're gonna, rec- they're gonna be like, an elephant man is not in our crew, a centaur is not in our crew, a goddamn turtle's not in our crew, now there's a robot. Which is why we, we would have to sneak. In, huh? That's why we would have to sneak. What if we reverse but reverse the order? It's heavily guarded. Yeah. I I don't think you would just be able to sneak in. Like there's. What there's, about this back entrance that Eddie was talking? Yeah, about? I'm. It, there's a back entrance, but that doesn't mean it's not heavily guarded. And there are traps everywhere. Um, well, would it be guarded if there was traps? I feel like. I mean. What if the guards you know, actually... Our dear friend Eddie would know. Ed... Who knows if these traps oh, are run Nicky's by people. Oh, Nicky's in the loo. <laughs> <laughs> you pose good... You pose good what would be oh, your... Uh, PC? Well, if, I, I'm not saying I... I, I don't know. Every... If this every, is... If, like, if we were going to do that, then one person who is amazing at stealth, which is not me, would need to go and do that. Yeah, yeah. Marcus would most certainly... Recognize most in his group, maybe, but the common rabble, they wouldn't know everyone. Well, here's the thing: is uh, I was saying, I was thinking that we find if if you're gonna do the same thing, which I don't know how well you can do that, but find two people, torture them of all their <laughs> information, which <laughs> like that's kind of a that's a pretty thing, like bad thing. But I mean, I we, we would have to torture hey, them. Hey, it's for the greater good. Right. Says next. Well, the greater good. Um, and yeah. you see, Irina says, "Cab, I don't know how I feel about that." I'm, I'm just hypothetically speaking. <laughs> unless Eddie, knows Cab will remember. Or Irina will remember that. Unless Eddie knows who Irina they are. Like <laughs> Dislike that exactly. Unless Eddie knows. <laughs> just like a shitty Fallout scene, you know, like her in the background, like this. Unless Eddie knows Irina who they are. Irina dis- dislikes that. Like everybody dislikes that. <laughs> it, Eddie. Yeah. What's up, man? Do you know? Did you, ha- did, did you have any friends who lived in Nizeli, like, uh, who guarded the prisons or jails? Yeah, I mean, I had some friends in the Black Hand, yeah, it's me and some buddies. Um, just to go on one point you were saying, the nice thing about the Black Hand is the, the high gods, like the, some of the main gods, they have their faces hidden under helmets. Like, they have visors. So we would just have to get... So if you could get some armor uh, of someone that would fit you... Is that what? Because it sounds like that's what you guys are going after. But yeah. you only got one badge. Yeah. So exactly. if they ask, unless you can really, with like I said, convince people, they might ask. You know, if you, if you act like you own the place and you walk in there like you're a high level god, and you know if someone says, "Here's my," you say, "Here's my badge. Get the fuck out of my way. We got something to do." Mm-hmm. And maybe, uh, what's your persuasion like? You know. Hey, what's 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 protocol? Same. What do you think of this plan, Eddie? Say. If I, dis- um, if I say if I disguise self or we got an armor of people uh-huh. of somebody and I, I donned it. Yep. And then I pretend like these guys are my prisoners. Yeah. I can also disguise myself as well. No, that I mean that's yeah super helpful. I mean yeah, I like what's going. So. What's your what's your but, per, what, what where are you trying to get to with the prison? I'm saying like what <laughs> I'm saying what would protocol be if I'm if I'm leading uh, prisoners? Would people be like, what's like what is up with this? Or depends would they, what your rank. Huh? Depends on your rank. Uh, I think we also might have I, another what? problem now that I begin to think about it. What? Captain Black. Strap. Molasses. Mm-hmm. Blackstrap. Mr. Molasses. Um, Captain Blackstrap and the map are very likely to be in two very different places. Right. Marcus more than likely has the map. Would you agree, Eddie? 
that Marcus has the map. Uh, Ma Marcus very likely has them. Yeah, no, I, unless uh, Captain Black Serp really shoved it up the fucking, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's Who's? what I was asking. Isn't that something Blackstrap would do? <laughs> and that's what I was asking. I mean, I don't know how. I, I guess I've always assumed he's straight, so. And that's what I was asking earlier is like, <laughs> do, you think, do you think they would be like treating Blackstrap like absolute dirt, or would they want him to be somewhat well to. Because, I, I mean. I don't know what he thinks of, like, maybe Marcus thinks that Blackstrap knows information about the map That's what and I'm its saying. contents. And so, like, they, w I, I feel like so they much. would probably want to keep him somewhat him comfortable. And no, th I don't think that, I don't think they're going to torture him like that. Like, I, I feel like they would keep him somewhat comfortable. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't want to, like... I mean, because that's the thing. Beat him to that's like, that's the thing you gotta really uh, think about. I mean, it sounds like after hearing the the lizard man talk, mm -hmm. that you guys don't know where the treasure is with the map. Yeah. Nope. You had the map. Don't know what treasure is. That means black hand ain't gonna know what the treasure is. Mm -hmm. So and they're gonna think that you know Blackstrap does know where the treasure is, or at the minimum, you know, they can't. I think they're not gonna kill your boy. They're not because him. they Trump? don't. Uh, maybe they might kill him if Why they. Why would they kill my son? I I don't think they'd ever kill him. I think they'd probably fetch a price from someone before they kill him. But I'm also saying that. Yeah. What they, about the other? What do you mean about the what? What about the other kid? And uh, the other one that was taken. We should definitely get them too. Yeah, but I mean they. Would they be killed? Killed? Probably. I know that's the thing is they they don't kill Forrest. They don't kill Foist, right? They, 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 they think everyone has a price. Like they're not gonna go around, you know. They, they do kill when they need to, but the, the, if there's money to be made out of it, why throw it away for vengeance? They're not really as much about vengeance as you might think. How long has it been? That's why I'm trying to drive home here. Like Very mechanical. Days. Less than a week, probably. Hotless. Less than a week. Have they been captured for less than a week? That's... Have they been? They've been captured for less than a week. Correct. Okay. But their patience might be getting. Yeah. Um, After a few days, you know what I mean? Like, of being trying to be nice, play Mr. Nice Cop, they might be like, okay, dude. Us traveling back and forth is not good. Like, we're right. wasting time. He said, yeah, because he was captured on the 20th, on Febanda 20th. It's Febanda 24th. What day is it? Oh, shit, hold on. Let me pull that up. Thursday. Like 24th. Febanda 24th. 24th. And at 24th is a Wednesday, my dude. Wednesday. The band the 24th is a one day. Wednesday. <laughs> it's a one day. I thought it was Wenslex. Oh, shit. Wenslex. My bad, dude. I don't know. I had a seizure there. <laughs> is that is that is that the slang they use on out, out in sea? This. It's a sailor it's speak. Man. Ah, I see. Uh, so what what's the plan here? Exactly. So I I maybe the best plan course of action would be go in there against Blaze and steal it. Okay, what's what what rank? What what's the I'm a ca I was a captain. What's the lowest rank that people wouldn't question? Would you get an order that of rank people wouldn't question? what do you mean? It depends. Yeah, I mean what do you want? You want second lieutenant, first lieutenant, no, captain, no, major, no, lieutenant, no, lieutenant, lieutenant colonel, colonel, brigadier general. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this real? I'm, what do you mean, is this real? <laughs> do you know who the fucking Black Hand are? Is this the Order of Allegiance? Do you, should you, would you like me to repeat it, man? Yeah, can we go slower? Yeah, Ready? okay. It's a second lieutenant. That's, oh that's God. right after you come out of the, the main gods, right? Mm -hmm. You join up. Okay, hold on to you live. Now I gotta rip my paper out. You what do you mean? Trash with guards. Okay, sure. That, they, <laughs> they don't have any senior. You don't. You don't have any seniority as a god. Well, that's important to know. Yeah, first lieutenant. Then you got the captain. That's what I was. Major. And then you got the major. General. No, you got the you got the colonel. Oh, colonel. They they're like you know. Oh, usually. Oh. You got the brigadier. Nice. General. And then you got Marcus. <sighs> About midway. I'm a little under midway, I guess you could say. I, I I would say I'm midway mainly because as you get high up the food chain, you get less and less of them. You know, there's only one general. Ah, that's good to know. 
Um, What's his name? Let me look it up. He roll his eyes roll into the back of his head. Let <laughs> <laughs> me access my dad. <laughs> See, it's right. Eat my father up. Taste him good. No, that's 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 Big Tony. Dude, Survivor. Tony Lazudo. Now, how'd you know? Is it? It is not. Yeah. It is. What do you mean, Tony Lazudo? He's he's the he's the the general. Alright. <laughs> Tony Lazuto, that's what you should have said right there. Uh, <laughs> I did. Uh, Tony Lazuto. So is his it is Tony Lazuto? His name is Tony Lazuto? He's the the, the general. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, so any other questions? You get a funeral if you don't wise up and call me. I don't understand. Okay, so you guys, um, so <laughs> he says, so it, it's you know a little afternoon. What are we doing? I don't know. I wasn't listening to your plan. So I can all. Where are we sailing? How, you just tell me which direction. As a group, how stealthy do we feel? I would have to take off my armor. I'm per, I'm pretty sure. Well, by the way, understanding I'm, that I can give you all hmm. plus ten. So then I would have a minimum of dog chasing. Amazing. I would also have a minimum of a lot. Let me check. I own visibility, so. Hey, Actually, a minimum of eight Eddie says, you have to have a hey, listen, just a side note, guys, though. Do you, I, I'm willing to help you out. You guys helped kill those assassins. And you helped, you gave me some gold to stop my day off. You know, really appreciate it, the watch, which I gave you back. I helped you get a job. And you helped me get a job. I'll get on the other Omega team. Whoever's off on the ship, I'm just not going into Nazelli. No hell, no way. Because if they find me, I'm I'm not leaving. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. But I'll help out as best I can on the other crew. This is the least I can do. Okay. And you see Eddie's like, yeah, so, and that's on the other ship, the pirate ship. Uh, and uh, that's when um, Bradburn says, so which one, uh, what are the two teams consistent of? I need details on who's on... Who's going off on Omega Team around the side with the ship? Who's Alpha on first? Team, Alpha Team is going to New Zealand, and that is where we can volunteer. I'll go. I. Us four. And I'm getting Salarin wants to come too. Yeah, yes, she says. Very likely. What about Esmeralda? Esmeralda says. Someone needs to drive the ship. Someone needs to watch the kids. I mean, I guess it grew too. I can come if you want me to. What about Irina? Irina, baby. Irina says, Cab, I, I'm totally down. I would love to come. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. She says, just know I'm not stealthy. Oh, well, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, the problem, Cab? Hmm. Understanding I can give her so weird a lot of sneaking in then. Is it plus 10 roll with um, advantage, or is it just, just plus, plus 10? We're not going to have a meeting. So I have to roll. Uh, it's okay. I didn't really want. I roll with disadvantage the armor that I have. So the worst you get is eleven. <laughs> One plus. Where on? You're going on One Omega four. or Alpha team, right? So yeah. The you Don't we need someone to pilot 15. or pilot with to drive the or steer the boat? I uh uh. Radburn says, uh, "I'll do it." Uh, I don't trust you with the Scarlet Slayer. <laughs> Dude, I what the hell? You can you can steer the molasses. Well, I guess right. we could leave. As you and, and you see, uh, Niall says he goes. I I can do it if if you need. I, I like Niall's better. Bradburn seems like he's missing something. Where's the truth? This is Niall. Uh, Niall says I I I can drive the boat. I'm I I'm one of the better sailors amongst us. Is Gertrude um? She's with the kid, right? Yeah. Yes. With the little we, baby, Sebastian. Little little toddler. I mean, he's like seven. Yeah, he's like seven now. Little child, Sebastian, and um, uh, your boy. And she, what do you want? She says, I mean, I, I can do what I, someone needs to stay alive for the kids. We need somebody to get some, G get some, some rowboats and bring them into, bring them to the, where the river's deep out into the ocean. Wait, hold on. Someone's got to take care of that. You we want can't to forget that part. I take think care of who? Someone's got to get us some rowboats and bring them to the where the where the rivers meet the ocean. 
How, how, how many robots do you need? Do we need, we need enough, to? enough to fit six, seven people? I think two. Two so would be sufficient, unless it's a big canoe. I, I mean, know. if I were to recollect, I re says I, Esmeralda, she says, a, if I, robots go about 50 gold a robot. Easy, we can pay for it. And yeah. they they go about one uh, one and a half miles per hour, and I'm saying that you can only have a total of four people on a rowboat. So we need two. We Would we be able to? How suspicious do you guys think if we got if we got like a? We need three. Why? Six, six of us. Will we more than eight people? One, two, three, four, five. Six. For oh, I guess one. not. Seven then... for Blackstrap. Oh well, I mean, if we get the others. Yeah. yeah. So we would need three. Oh, we're how, planning on getting others. How suspicious do you guys think it would be? <laughs> like, what about just black strap? Huh? Hey, hmm. How suspicious do you think it would be <laughs> if we got Dog. like the if we took the three ro if we took three rowboats um, into the into the city? <laughs> like so, to, got like a trailer of sorts and let them up to Nizelli. Um, but like before we get into the city, locate the city, uh, locate the river, and and like put them there and tie them down. And then when we when we get the crewmates, we escape and get into the robots and head down the runoff. And then when we do encounter any really intense rapids, we portage them and then uh, just continue. You know I, I, love, portage. I, I love portage. We are true eagles. <laughs> yeah. It's portage. It's definitely not. I mean, it is portage, but you're not supposed to say it like that. No, it's it's portage. Yeah. That's why the, it's portage. The portage. If you, I want you to go somewhere and be like, yeah, over on Portage Trail. Like, yeah, that's shut the fuck up, you yeah. fucking loser. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's where like the name. You're funny talking. Yeah. You know that's where the name portage came from, though. Portage Lakes. Like it's portage. Well, you know, like in the valley, no, right? the, the Native American. Yeah. Carrying the canoe. Port, like the, the stuff around you, like there's port, the portage, whatever, the portage path, portage lake, all that. It's portage supposed County. to be portage, but we're just Americans, so we call it portage. That's not right. It's definitely supposed to be pronounced portage, but what are you going to do? Anyway, I like the idea. Um, do we have a trailer? Have to go. We have horses. I know that. We got one right here. <laughs> Yeah, we hey. Uh, I'm down for that idea. Yikes. We should go to. We a still one. have my horse costume. Right? Hey, why you out now? I go <laughs> around New Barovia and mm -hmm. I'm looking for. I'm looking for like, a woodworker to make a simple. Canoe. Large carriage. So you walk around New Don't Barovia, right? No. Thomas blew up. I know Thomas blew up, but I thought we. We paid to bring some of that shit on the boat, right? Where are you going? Yeah, we definitely brought the horses. I'm, I'm we looking brought, around. Did we bring a carriage, or did we just I'm buy looking a, around a, for, like, like maybe something thing. that would be, like, a huge, like, oh, flatbed. It would just awesome be, thing? like, a... Yeah. I say, hey, you! I can't believe... Uh, you citizen. And Irina says, what do you mean? You're on the boat, Cav. Are you having flashes of... <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I, I get Guys, Cab is speaking about nonsense. No, I got off. So you go into the so you go into the store. Um, so you go off the ship and you head into town and you're looking for what exactly? I, I go up to the near civilian. Okay, and uh, you walk up and you can see there's a, a man and a horse and he goes, "I eat his pussy." Can I help you? Are you? Uh, is there a local woods woodworker? Of course, we we do have a we have a carpenter. Where is he? And you see points over towards the southern end of town. Give us over by, we'll say it's right south of this nine. Give us his name. I go there. Our daily bread. It's, uh, you want his, are you there with him? Are you guys all going, so you guys are all off in a group, and you say what again to him? What's his name? He goes, his name is John Porter. Are you coming with me? Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so you guys head over to the, the carpenter, and you guys can see there's like a whole area where the whole garage door is kind of like open, and he's just out there like, you know, sawing you exactly. And come you guys kind of, and as you kind of come up, and he looks over and he goes, can I help you, gentlemen? And he wipes his brow with his sweat. Big uh, carriage, big enough to carry three canoes. Uh, not canoes. Uh, three dinghies? Yeah. Three dinghies. 
Uh, and some ore. How much? How long? And he says, Eat whoa, 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 We're hold out of time on. Crunch, I, 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 what is this? You want how many boats? <laughs> so, three <laughs> things. Last night. Three, four. three ro- I, I can make, four. we make a rowboat. Well, you not already have yeah. thingies on our ship? I thought no. we, no, we, we don't have. I thought yeah, we exactly. had a carriage too. Oh, okay. All but, right. But we don't. Three so, rowboats. So. I have, I, I have, I already have, I already have two rowboats here. Amazing. We'll I would just need to make a third. Yeah, we need to make it. You need to make a third. Oh goodness. How long? How long would that be? How How long can it take me to make a rowboat? That would probably take like a week, right? I mean, I could probably do it. There's a lot of things that are gonna have to be cured and and such, but I I, I can get something together. I have one that's already in the works. So give me like three days, and I can do it. No. Um, is there like, is there like a, uh, like a Portsmouth or something like that? I mean, and there's also, if, what is it you're looking for? Boats so, in general? Because so, you so, can go down to the on. harbor. The harbor sells boats. Cool. Like, so I came to you because I need, I would like for you to make, or if you had carriages, mm -hmm. I would like. I do. Would we be able to get three carriages that would be able to each hold, uh, that would be able to hold one boat? Or like a flatbed, I, I just would like a flat, a flatbed that mm. I could throw yes. the boat on it and tie it with some rope and keep it standing and have a horse yes. carry it. Yes. We, uh, so I, I have, I have two wagons here mm -hmm. that you could just take off the sides and do that same exact thing. Yes. And then you could probably get some other wagons out of the, you know. The, the general store here, the main market. Okay. Um, I'll take... You have two wagons? I do have two wagons. That'll do exactly what you need. Okay. You I'll can probably take... get everything else at the general store. I'll take that. All right. And he goes, I'll... that'll be 70 gold. Uh, what about two of these dinghies? And he goes, and for each rowboat, it's going to be 50 gold per rowboat. So that's uh, 170 gold. And he holds out his hand. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Here's the gold and a big sack. And he takes the 170 gold. Thanks. And he gives you... And he... So he, he takes the two wagons and he takes off the sides. You know, so he, he like gives you... You can put them back on. It's like a Skyrim yeah. wagon, right? And he takes off the sides. It just takes a bit. It's not something you slip on and off. After like, you know, half hour work. Takes off the sides. And uh, we can say you straps them underneath it, and you guys put the boats on top of it. On it. so you need horses. Mm -hmm. they, horses I say, yeah, you guys brought your horses on board. You loaded them on on uh, shore, and uh, brought them with you. So you got you got you get this all set up. So now you have your two horses pulling, you know, a boat in a wagon. Cool. Uh, okay, uh, I go to the general store. All right, and you head over to the general store, and you can see as you walk in, there's a, an older woman, and she goes, Can I help you? Do you have a wagon that you could sell? Of course, we have many wagons. May I have a wagon? Of course. That's exactly like this one. And she says, For sure thing. That'll be, uh, for the wagon, it's going to be 40 gold. Uh, um, do you sell boats, too, or is that at a Portsmouth? We, uh, we, we do have some boats here, but... Uh, do you have a boat exactly like this uh, one? Food's up there. Uh, and she goes, I, we have smaller boats, row boats. If you want a bigger boat than a row boat, you have to go down to the harbor. Okay. If they ha we don't have a whole lot of them here, though. Cool. It's not really our, our city's thing, is boats. Yeah. So, okay, you just buy the wagon for 40 gold? Mm -hmm. Did you give her the gold? Yeah. Okay, she takes, so that's a wagon. And you hitch your third horse up because you have Matili or uh, Matali tip flip. Matali tip flip, alt gay, and beep boop. Beep boop. Beep. All right. So you hook up. So do you want to? You just have a wagon on the third one, right? No boat. Mm -hmm. She goes. Do you do you want to buy a rowboat? Okay. Have a good day. All right. All right. Down to the harbor. All right. So you guys head on down to the harbor. Did we have to pay him for something? Who? Okay. Johnny? So I've already spent 200 and, um, 200, 210 gold. Oh, okay. 
All right, so you guys head down to the ship, the harbor. I kind of blacked out there for a minute. What did I miss? They've been buying some stuff. So you go to... Which he'll tell you about once he probably finishes his little thing right here. He's... You have what now, P? What have you bought? I bought three wagons and two boats. Sorry. And now we're going to the harbor. All right. And do I see... And you see the ship... The harbor master comes over and he's like, I right, can I help you? Are there any other, are there any rowboats that I can buy that are just like this one? Hey, he goes, uh, uh, of course, we got, we got, I have two rowboats here. I would like to buy one of those. R. And he, uh, he goes, that'll be, uh, 58 gold. 58. Correct. I'm so sorry. It could be worse. I mean, yeah. Yep. Good. It starts raining. <laughs> oh, it's worse. It's worse. <laughs> Heard. Okay, did you give him the money? Yes. All right, you give him the money. All right, so what do you guys want to do? So are you guys attaching? Where you guys are? You guys putting bringing the boats aboard your ship? Gotcha. I'm gonna imagine that you guys are like kind of tying the boats on the side of the ship so that you can kind of like lower them down. Yeah, exactly. Like they're kind of hanging on the side, kind of like life rafts would be. You would think that, wouldn't you? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? So, what do you guys want to do? Let's go. The plan is to go. Yep. Let's do it. I think we're ready. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So, you guys head off. Wait, 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 wait. But someone, we know that the other boat is supposed to meet us there. Or both boats, kind of, are supposed to be in that area. So, where is... Which boat is going where, then? Nazelli is dropping us off at, like, the... The center, like Whoa, no, 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 right there. We're the Buffy is driving us off at Hamas. I'm so confused on what we're talking about. Buffy's so, dropping us off. Who's at Buffy? The Straw Slayer. And then the Straw Slayer. Oh, the you, when did you change it to that? <laughs> I've mean, never changed it. I've been calling it that since. No, since the dude. Time. And then the Straw Slayer is going to come back around whilst. Molasses. Whilst molasses waits over there. Molasses and Strahd Slayer are gonna wait in this areola for us to come down and then row our way out to freedom and then we'll leave. Yes. And then we set off the bombs. Wait, what? I do vote that we keep those boats at the outlet of those streams. As what? <coughs> the boats? No, no, no. The, no. the ships. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the ships. Those, these waters be treacherous, and I don't particularly these fancy the idea of rowing. Canoeing down them? No, I meant out into the, the open sea. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I they don't need to be in that areola. <laughs> <laughs> this area, as close That's as they better, can get without running. That's uh, a better nipple there. Running ground yes. or whatever it's called. Okay, cool. Um, Let's do that. Oh. Yeah. I cast healing. <laughs> I cast heal other. I, I cast harm. <laughs> you guys, roll up into. Wait, where are we going? Not like that. Roll. You guys are going to Hamas, right? Uh huh. Hamster. I don't like this music. It just got so much more done. Hamster. Damn. All right, so it's a quiet ride as you guys head towards Hamas. Uh, let me pull out the picture. How long does it take? So it's it's you guys can go each Five. each. Yeah, so two hours of hex. Seventeen. So about eighteen hour ride. <laughs> you guys uh, arrive at the huge city of Hamas, right? Oh, that's and Hamas. It, as you guys start pulling in, you can see um, Eddie, Eddie's not on this ship because you guys, the other ship went already to the rendezvous to point. Um, so yeah, because Eddie's like, you know, I, I'm gonna stay on the other ship. I'm not trying to get any uh, black hand territory. And uh, so you guys pull up, and uh, as you guys get get up to the harbor, you guys just parking and getting off. You can see there's lots of you know just merchant ships coming in and out. The other left side of the harbor seems to be having a lot more merchant ship and uh, commerce going through it. I mean that's what I apologize. You guys park on the left side over here. You can see there's a lot of merchant ships, a lot of trade coming harbor. in here. Yeah, you exactly visitors harbor. So what are you guys doing? Are, are you getting off the ship? Who all is getting off the ship and walking? I am. I can take all the and I hook up a wagon and a boat on top of it. Sasuke! So it, wait, wait, just one boat? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. It's Towered, Flareon, Jog, 
Cav. And go. Irina as well. Mm -hmm. Irina Salarin. So. It's like, think of who we could have had. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you guys all kind of get off, and you can see Esmeralda says, be, cave, be safe, Towered. I go up to her, and I say, we'll do. And I put my hand up there. And she uh, kind of hesitates for a moment, and then gives you a high five. And uh, she goes, all right. And I, I turn around, and I look for Flair, and I try to like make eye contact. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, exactly. Uh, so you guys all unload from the harbor, and as you guys watch the Strahd Slayer turn around and start sailing off into sea. Well, only like one way back be. now. And, boy, and, and you see, well, before, as you're about to leave, Gertruda comes up to you and like, gives you a hug. She's like, stay safe out there, job. Come back to me and Sebastian. Yeah. Oh, can I show you? I what do you say? Uh, just keep watch of the ship. Make sure nothing happens to her. <laughs> He goes, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll do our best. Uh, Esmeralda's pretty, pretty smart. Well, She's pretty. Yes. I mean, you're not going to say goodbye to your honey? Your boy. Uh, uh, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 my son. You can learn a lot. And you see the, the baby like, eh, 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 eh. Oh, one, one, two, one. Ah. Uh, ah, child. I, um, ah, uh, child. I tell I, I just, like, hug my wife, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> stay <laughs> Watch our child for us. I love you, honey. And then I, I, I smack her on the body. Gotcha. And I, I take a man after my own heart. I take a mental picture. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 mental I use it for later. I, I take my mental face and I smush it into her. On her, <laughs> her face. And, she, <laughs> and I just like move back and forth. And I love my seaweed beard. <laughs> face. When you pull away, <laughs> her old face is like seaweed beard. And you go, love you. Uh, oh, Jock, you have such a way with I don't know, grass stains on her. Yeah, grass. <laughs> There's just like flies just buzzing around her face uh, now. Yes. Uh, uh, anyways. And I, and, pa I pat Sebastian's head. I'm and like, be good. Sebastian like hugs your leg. You guys see like Sebastian. Get off, just, and, you, and you hear him go like, all right, Dad. Daddy. All right, Dad, I will fuck you later. What? <laughs> Uh, so, um, and that's, and you're saying bye to your boy? Yeah. And he says, <laughs> I, I pull out Waldo and I say, say goodbye to Waldo, your boy. Is Waldo going with you? Oh, yeah. What is he? And, uh, so Waldo, <laughs> remember Waldo's on your shoulder. He's in my bag. My okay. Side. He's so in your bag. Right. So, so, shoulder? He's with me. Okay, so he stays with you. And you guys all hop off the ship and they all kind of wave to goodbye to you all and... Uh, the Strahd Slayer sa sails off on the horizon. As you guys find yourself in the loud and crowded uh, harbor of Hamist. Oh. And you see around, you know. Yes. Thank you for coming to help save the captain. Oh, I owe the captain my life and then some. Of course I've come. <laughs> and then some what? Appreciate. And then some. T um, <laughs> it seems you've built no, quite the. No. Go back to that word. Adventuresome family. Yeah, have you met everyone? <laughs> yes, in detail. This we, is my uh, we went through some crazy shit. Uh, he almost died. Well, he did actually. Yep, how you doing? Brought him back. Yes, right. Uh, ate some ashes. I seen him do a lot of crazy shit with his magic. I don't even too. think he's real. I don't even think he's real, to be honest. Sometimes I look at him and I don't know if he's real. Or what is it to be I, real? I kind of reach out and, I, and I just like tap your leg a little bit with my staff. I, it, he seems real. I'm hollow. I don't understand how he is, but he do. Mm. And for that, he's my friend. And we could be thankful that he's on our team, says Irina. And this is Irina. She night. exists as well. <laughs> oh. She, she died and then we waited oh, for her. This is the one oh, that's who's... right. Irina died as well. Oh, you're trying for baby. Uh, yes, that is They're true. trying to manufacture child. Yes. Hmm. Manufacture child, as they say, yes. I you said, use my you said it was a waste? <laughs> yes. This is Irina. She oh, exists. I turned to Irina and <laughs> said... We've been, we've been through a lot. Be careful what innocence you bring into this world. All right. And she just kind of gives like a, a, a her her con, uh, consonants drops as her uh, she just gives a, a frown. It'd be better book. Harry's just like and doesn't say anything. Yes. And just kind of walks away. As Salarin walks away, 
You guys see yourself as the camera wraps around and shows the, the giant city of Hamas before you. Um, is that it? Man, yes. Is it? So... What the fuck is it? Maybe it's a good thing we didn't bring it, bro. <laughs> so, uh, damn it. Uh, so you guys <laughs> head uh, into... I can't unsee what I see! So, and you, as you guys are walking in, uh, you hear Irina says, I've heard the rumors about uh, the Vistani Boros. How did you hear here. about this? What did you what did you say? How did you hear about it? She's like, oh, here. when I was back in New Barovia, I, I, we, we, were, we went to the tavern, I was talking to one of the I locals. See, I wow, see. Wow, you were talking to another man. Oh, it was another woman. Oh, oh <laughs> you don't lie to me. I didn't know you played that way. <laughs> what? If I, I speak really, to another woman, then I must be... Uh, you just so. got a little bit cooler in my mind. <laughs> so... But that's all I know. They didn't really talk about it much. Um. So you guys start heading through the streets. Where are you guys going? Is Irene's dad dead? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I think it's only fair we go visit the Vistani, right? She says, I thought we were here to... No, no, you're right, you're right. I, I like to play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is at home. Uh, what what do we want to talk to the Vastani about? I can I can no, I just show my to... child his heritage. <laughs> 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 that is true. I was going to say we could... Yeah, but let's <laughs> not you get. Said he Do you was think your child? My wife is Vasani. <laughs> Former Vasani. She's she's not Vasani. Oh, okay. Right. It's she's, somewhere. In she's a little. <laughs> <laughs> I was it's like, wait a minute, there. that doesn't. Sound right. Don't stopping. even try to understand. Says Irina. I um, look, I look queerly at, at, at protect your boy <laughs> at all costs. <laughs> so at no cost. <laughs> Where are you guys going? We better go uh, find this HQ. I bet you it's in a brothel somewhere. Eddie, wait. Did Eddie tell us where it was? Nope. I, I, is there a guard around somewhere? I yeah, and as you're walking around, you see that they look like, uh, they kind of have more, like, dirty armor, but it does look like it's just, like, silver armor. Not, not silver, like, metal-plated armor. Like a normal-looking knight kind of thing. And as you, you can see two guards standing together near nearest the harbor, and you walk up to them. Yeah. They go, hey, well, hey, how's it going? Hey, friend. Um, <laughs> Alt. I've, Alt never, I've never been here before. Oh, yeah, yeah, Looking to do some trading, bring some business economy. Uh, oh, yes. MST is one of the greatest economy in the yeah. whole island. And you guys got, like, a oh, wow. map or, like, a layout <laughs> of where I'm going. I've never been here. Really? I know the river uh, runs through. Yeah, no. Oh, of course. Well, the thing is... It, it, the, the river doesn't run very deep into inland. That That is just runoff. The, if, if you're trying to get... Where is it you, you're trying to go? For trade? Well, yeah. I mean, we. I also I heard there was like some Vistanis. I mean, just, if you could give me any information about the whole lay of the land, where things are, just so I sure, know where just, I'm going. You just kind of want that. So the main trading goes through the Red Trail. That goes through Hamist and then all the way up to Nizeli, where most of the goods go. If you're trying to go to Mountain City of Nizeli, right. that is up, you know, that is to the then north northeast. The city of Nizeli is mountainous, you say. It is in mountain. Nizeli is is built in mountain. What did you say? Can you take us there? Can who who is this guy? You see the guard kind of looks over and you see the other guard chuckling. And he's like, well, "What do I look like? Taxi service? Yeah. You have one? I'm." <laughs> taxi yeah. service here? No, no taxi service here. How long a day's journey, or uh, how long of a journey would it be to get to Nizeli from Hammer? And Hammerst? Well, it depends. Do you have horses? I have uh, a horse. Correct, yeah. We have a horse, sir. Uh, it's about, I mean, it's about four miles. Our horse eye. <laughs> let, 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 let four or five miles. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I can run out in like ten minutes. Perfect. Sure. That is why we, you know, Hamist is one of the most powerful cities in all of Ireland. We hold the key to Nazeli's riches. We are great. What's the key? We are great. The port. Oh, yeah. We are very super sweet. I was speaking <laughs> metaphorically. I <laughs> know. Uh, so, anything else I can help you with, gentlemen? <laughs> and lady. Oh, uh, no. Uh, lady uh, Turtle. Uh, she, you watch as, uh, <laughs> well, I she, she <laughs> reaches I like, over and mouth. says, Call me Ren. <laughs> Ren. You see the guard just kind of gives like a, nice okay. to meet you, Ren. Um, we, oh, we are on a trade mission from 
a nearby land to learn more about this uh, prosperous new city. It is directly in our trade routes. Anything you can tell us about Hamist or Nizeli would be greatly appreciated. Definitely, and she it, it's a powerful him a city. Gold coin. Next day he takes it and he goes, oh, man, gold coin, interesting. I mean, it, I'd say if there's things you don't, you know, if there's lesser things you want to get more like uh, magical things, we don't really sell a whole lot of them here through the main harbor. That You would probably want to go check out the Vistani burrows. Oh, fuck. If you're looking for <laughs> magical things. Well, the Vistani is, I remember. Probably. <laughs> oh no. Is there Where? I believe. I, I know they've been from many places oh, oh. all over. They're kind of a traveling people, but they've taken up residence here ever since the magic, you know, explosion. The, the, the magic explosion? The what? Oh, the, the, the giant explosion from, you know, one, one of the ancient wars over the city of Hamas. It oh. destroyed one of the southern reaches of our city and never was repaired. Uh, yes. But the Vistani seem to... Oh, uh, he's, he's, I guess he, yeah, he has a map in his hand, sure. yeah, exactly, and he points to it. That is where the explosion, the magic from beneath, uh, they say a great wizard pulled it up from the, the ground beneath and destroyed. Goddamn. Where's the, uh, where's, where's the Keep of Neverwinter? I mean, uh, Uh, the Keep of Hamas, and you see he points it over, right, very close by, and you can see just on the other side of the large river, uh, there's these big bridges that kind of connect. We, we're over here, though, right? You're down by the, Where's you're, the you guys, oh, I apologize. Hey, you guys are coming up on the, you're on this side. Oh, yeah. okay. So, I lied, yeah, you guys are even closer. Yeah, you literally can see the tower cast, you know, casting its shadow upon you. Oh, wow. Uh, what's the name of the, uh, let's go kill him. The wizard? Uh, you're asking the guard still? And he goes, Name's, name of what wizard? The one that pulled the ground up from Man, man the vagina. Yeah. I mean, they... No one really knows for sure what the wizard was. It was I'm not an Earth this was. China. I'm talking. This is you know many generations ago. My oh. before my father and my father father. But they we just know him as the Great Wizard. It wasn't today. The great no, 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 dear sir. It was quite a while ago. They say that place is cursed. Cursed. I ain't going there. That's I mean, the, the Vasani like to go there though. They don't believe in the curse. I wonder if that protects them from the curse. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, so where are you guys going? Thank you, Sonny, Sonny Burrows, What is right? your what is your name? And he goes, My name is Carl. <laughs> Master Carl. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Salarin. We need to get Jog a second Please. wife and a second yeah. child. And I wink at him. Ah, yes, away. that's what the choice <laughs> ran. I would never abandon Gertrude. And you can see as you're walking away, he's looking over the coin. You're, and he's you're just like kinda, a Mormon. <laughs> yeah. He puts it in his uh, pocket. They deserve one. Gotcha. They deserve you. Is that how people work? Yeah. Money I talks. I understand. I will get out of Hawaii. Comes back. Gertrude's like, who is this? this? This is your other wife. <laughs> Isn't this what you wanted? <laughs> so, it's nine. It's about the nine. told me this was right. It's about 9 a.m. What do you guys want to do? Well, we should probably head up the red curve. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I thought we were in the Zelly, and then I remembered that'd be that such we a ain't. good storyline. <laughs> <laughs> I, honey, I thought you wanted a new wife. I have to admit, I am curious to at least take a peek to peek at this great rift of the Vistani area. I agree. Okay. I think oh. our time is of the essence. You see, Irina says, "I do agree. I think we are here to save the captain, and I don't know if we have." All the time in the world. We could have all the time in the world after. We I take the time stone out. And pause. Maybe we should split the party a third time. No. Oh. I like um, it. Split the party. No. <laughs> we shall return. My yes, of course. I do agree. This is Irina. Well, they Irina, restarted after every quarter. What is your so whoever wins the first fascination with the Vistani? So much money goes to their charity. Oh, cool. What do you mean my so fascination with the Vistani? You agree to win. And In what on what yeah. subject again? It's pretty cool. To come back and check this out. Oh, I see. Why? I mean, it sounds like they got magic items. That's always as helpful. That's what brought me back from death. Yeah, we know. What resurrection? Yes, it's a, it's a it's a quite a story. I was you know flare on over there, brought me back from death with my penis. 
That is mm. irrelevant part of story. Mm. Very I believe part it's part story. relevant, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's symbols are powerful. <laughs> 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 it's pretty <laughs> you <laughs> even <laughs> say it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty relevant. <laughs> You right. got a big watch. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess we begin to make our way up the red. I got cuffed yeah. to save All me right, life. and you guys can see as you guys make your way up the up the red trail <laughs> through the the city of Hamas. You guys come to the large gate, and you can see it's open. There's lots of you know big horses. Uh, so are you guys on? You guys only have three horses. Did you unload them, or I are they on the horse. boat? I am on. What? I am a horse. Are you guys walking, or are you bringing? I'm on one of the carriage things with the boat on the back of it. So oh, so you guys are bringing the boats? Yeah. Okay, so you have, each horse has a wagon with a boat, and you guys are all moving. Okay, I understand yeah. now. So uh, you guys head out the large gate amongst all the other traders. You can see there's a large road. You can see it says, like, uh, you can see uh, there's signs and stuff all talking about the Razorback Trail, which is this large trail that stretches across the <laughs> island. So, exactly. And um, everyone on the trail is forced to sing we, uh, this song. Hold on. <laughs> the whole time. You think it's yeah. gender um. so crazy. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Before we leave, I ask a nearby local for the finest, um... Hmm... The finest cloth merchant. And you can see, um... She says, a lot of the, the fancy cloth are sold by the Vistani, but, you know, there is a general store for some more average clothes. Is there anything fine on this side of the city, goods-wise? You're asking the, the, the random woman in the street, and she goes, well... Oh, a guard. A guard, sure. And you ask him, what was the last question? I'm looking for any fine goods on this side of the city. And he goes, uh... There, there's, you know, lots of commerce down by the harbor. You could definitely try to find. It's more about. All right. So there's I'm a gonna, general store. He goes, I'm gonna yo, man, it, there's probably you want to have the reds, reds, if you're gonna want to do some big trade. Okay. So I turn to the group and say, I've already kind of fronted the fact that we're here to set up a trade group. I'm sure there's already agents at the Black Hand looking. If we have a few things with us to show that we are. In fact, traders, and we're offering these wares. Irina, maybe we can grab a couple <laughs> items to help us to help us through any guard posts or again. other prying eyes. Okay, I agree. So I basically am just looking for a place to pick up something that looks halfway decent. So, so I search the harbor here. for any. It doesn't. It could literally be anything. You're, and you're trying to find oh, clothing oh, that's oh, really oh. nice. I'm trying to find anything that's really nice, like high quality something. Gotcha. So you can see there is there is lots of you know different clothing. There's lots of different. Uh, there's large amounts of tools. I hand you can you, see there's. Um, I hand you a magical battle axe. I'm like I don't even use this thing. You can see there's lots of big so wagons of wine. Like, so. like there. Everybody loves I booze. Like, I, I go ahead and I grab. I'm looking. That was that one. <laughs> I'm looking for fine goods, so fine wine is fine. Yeah, and you can see there's a lot, it's pretty okay. popular down here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two so barrels of like really fine so you're gonna wine that are not labeled. Oh, we like that. Gotcha. So, you walk up to one of the merchants that you can see he's unloading big barrels of wine. And he goes, hey, see, you're trying to buy some wine. But I am. How much for a barrel? Do not swindle me. I've been around a while. <laughs> Give me uh, intimidation or, or persuasion, whichever one you want. It's not intimidation. It's persuasion. I'm not trying to freak people out here. Maybe not. I'm just kidding. Well, that's not good. Yeah, Saturday. Um, a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Um. That's with a minus one too. And as you walk up, um, and he has bottles of wine. He goes. I can sell you some bottles. I also have ale, if you're looking for ale. Well, how much is a barrel of wine? You go, <laughs> I just don't know. He goes, I, I sell them in 30-gallon barrels, and that's 1,500 gold. Pretty penny. How much for... I don't have a whole lot of them, but I do have a lot of uh, barrels of ale, if that's what you're looking for. Okay. If you want to buy them in the... Yeah, how much for a barrel of ale? It's gonna be... It's gonna be, maybe. Uh, so for a, a 30 gallon barrel of ale, wow, that's a lot cheaper. I do, I do. Yeah, times that. 60 silver pieces. That's it. 
Let's see how I get that. Let's see. A gallon uh, for 30 gallons of ale. I feel like I've been overpaying at taverns for ale. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, a mug of ale is four copper usually on average. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Are both of our drives at least? Yeah. Like ten of those. Ten if barrels. Can, if I can load them up with like the ships and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He goes. Uh, that's gonna be uh, sixty gold pieces there, buddy. So wait, hold on. What what do you how many wow. barrels are you buying? Ten how much were they a piece? Sixty silver a piece, right? What did I say? Hold on. I gotta do the math again. We got thirty barrel, two silver piece a gallon, sixty silver pieces. And then you want ten of those. Yeah. So sixty times ten, six hundred silver pieces and or sixty gold. You got me, man. Right? I mean, is that your heart? 600 silver pieces. That make you 60. Because it's 60 yeah. silver piece times 10 is 600 those. silver. But that should also yeah, be if I took 600 silver and divided yeah. it by 10, it should be 60. All right. I'm going to say, all right, 30 gold. Give me five barrels. All right. So you give him 30 gold and he gives you five barrels. Man. And I load them up. And all right. Continue on our way. This is at I, least. I break the barrels as we load them up. So you're going to start drinking them? No, by accident. I just drop them and they break. So that's your okay. So no, you guys. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I. Tyler's face. Full astonishment. <laughs> you can if you want. It's your. It's your life. Okay. So what are you guys doing? Um. So I load them up and just turn to the group. At least we have a cover now. I agree. Don't drink all of it. Good idea. And I. Agree. <laughs> I start pouring it. Here, I, my face. I, 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 um. Tap one of them and say, "Drink from this one." If you Hooray! Must. Yeah. All right, and Tyrant starts drinking some. Yeah. I start. I just pour it on my face and it drips down. Just runs down the front of the robot. Just I like you. <laughs> glug glug. And that's I... when, as you're doing that jog, that's when all of a sudden you you hear this faint buzzing sound, and it's like this. Uh, yes. Just keep uh, your okay. Jock, as you're sitting there pouring it on your face. You hear this buzzing guy. sound in your head, oh, okay. and you kind of get a little bit dizzy, and you hear, and you feel this force, this this force pulling you. And as you kind of look over to the the east, you feel this. It's almost like a, a compass is drawn to a direction. You can uh, the the north. You can feel your body just kind of this force drawing you to the 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 east. And it's just kind of buzzing in your head, and you feel like you're in this hole. You guys, everyone else is still talking around him, drinking the ale. You can still jog. You're just in this state. I just start walking in that direction. Yeah, so you guys just see Jog start walking. He just stops what he's doing and just starts walking off in, in the towards the east. Hey, um... Do I, do I hey, see him? Yeah, you guys can all see him doing this. Stop him. Stop. Uh, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Oh, um, I'm no, sure it was really good based on that reaction. Uh, ten. Ten, and you see, Jog just keeps walking that way. Just you can see as he's walking, you, you, you just bump into some random woman, and she kind of almost drops her jog, and she's like, "Hey, watch where you're walking!" And you can see Jog just keeps walking forward, just going towards the east. Uh, and and Jog in your head, you can just you just feel this presence. It's like home. Home, home, come home, come home. Are we all here? No, um, you guys. So what do you want to see? Jog has just kind of ignored you guys and started just walking off towards the east. Should we go get him? I said, Captain. I think we should. He Captain, he where are you going? I'm walking can towards I hear him. him. You uh, give me another Constitution saving throw. By this point, he's already like a hundred feet off. As you guys just see him walking through the well, crowd. I, I, I just rolled a twenty-one. And that's when you stop, Jog, and you come back out of it. I run up. I'm running up to Jog. And I'm like. Jog, where are you going? Captain. I... I don't know. I no? There was a buzzing. I <laughs> felt the, drawn. I, I can't explain what is in this alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> what is in this? <laughs> and Irina says... I, shit. I wouldn't take... I grab his tankard and I pour it out. And then Irina says, we should get going. Come on, guys. So, I agree. 
Where are you guys gonna go? East. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, is it let's go on the red trail. <laughs> All right. So you guys set out onto the red trail. It's about um. Let's see what time is it. So it's about yeah. Well, you guys arrived here at nine a.m. We'll say you set off at ten a.m. It's a well. It's only a four mile, five mile thing. How fast do short horses go? I can do 40 feet. Climbing. I go like mounts and I do horses. Horse uh, riding horses would be 60. That's not helpful. Um, we're gonna say yeah. It's it's probably just an hour or something like that. So it's not super long. You guys ride on your horses and your wagons, kind of amongst all the other many carriages and other. You can see a lot of big merchant wagons riding along behind you, in front of you. Uh, lots of just things being moved up towards to the east and as you guys um get closer you can see the giant mountain of nizeli comes into focus keep moving forward so you guys come up to the large gates and you can see uh just the large Wait. what do you say before we i don't want to go yeah, as gate. you guys yeah you're not at the main gates you're, you're getting closer to it you can see it in the distance as it's cut into the side of this mountain we're going the distance are we going for speed all alone. Okay, we need to find this river that's on this map. I agree, I concur. Um, should we, should we all just get off the beaten path, or should we, or Flaron, should you, you want to go out and scout and then come back? I can do that. Good luck, friend. Thank you. Zephyr Strike. Yeah, Zephyr Strike. So what's Flaron doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go find the river that we're gonna put all Is the that yeah. I, I pull out the map. Yeah. Yes. Yep, and he pulls out the map. I pull out the map and... And you guys are all pre pretty much right about where my out. mouse is. Okay. See this river? Yeah. See, we're, we're right here. Yeah. See that river? Yeah. Are you trying to go and find it? So you're gonna ride off and find that river? Is that what you're doing, Flaron? It me and one easy mode. It seems like it'll take a while. Gotcha. Take Wildo for support. Okay. Hop on, hop on uh, one easy mode shoulder there, Wildo. So it's you, yeah. <laughs> and then one easy mode's on your shoulder, and then Wildo's on his. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You travel down, so you guys kind of pull off the path, yeah. right? You guys all pull off the main merchant path and you've kind of uh, set up there as you see the other merchant wagons going past you. Flareon, you start taking off into the woods, right? Mm -hmm. You start heading where my mouse is heading, just kind of heading over this direction. I cast Zephyr Strike so I can move 70 feet per... Gotcha, you start flying as you're just... <laughs> yeah, you and Wandissimo, right? And Waldo. All right, and Waldo? Yeah, Waldo's on Wandissimo. All right, so uh, Waldo falls off and dies, and then I'm no, just kidding. Um, so hey everyone, uh, <laughs> night everyone. He goes upstairs um, and you just hear a one <laughs> gunshot. Um, Waldo, so. <laughs> and Waldo like comes downstairs, the actual one. Uh, anyways, so well, yeah, he killed himself from a fictional version of it. <laughs> uh, so you guys head down. Uh, Flareon swings down south, and you can see as you gallop up to the side, the, the river starts to clear, and you see uh, a, a large river, not a large river, a smaller river, a large stream, cutting down the side, and as you kind of come out, you can see there's already a part where it comes out and drops down into this waterfall area. I walk, like, up to the edge of the waterfall mm -hmm. and look over it. And you look over, uh, go ahead and roll a, um... We ain't using headphones no more. Well, we're not in a time. We'll see. Um, so you go ahead and roll a um, d20 and multiply it by uh, multiply it by 10. Oh, that's a, that's a 19. That's a 19 times 10? Yeah, 190. It's a 190 point. foot drop off oh, the edge. Do I see a safe passage safe passage down? Um, you do see like a, a place where you could portage around the side, like, but it, it would take a while. How long do I think it would take? Um, give me a nature check. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's not good. How many, how many feet do we agree again? 190. 
pudding. And we are in the forest, indeed, you're correct? Um, you are in the forest, correct. <laughs> so you get your advantage, I believe, or something? Mm -hmm. yeah. You could do a survival as well if you wanted. Yeah, we're gonna oh, we big taking that survival. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness I could do that. 14, 17. 17? Mm -hmm. We're gonna say, like, if you were moving pretty good, it would probably take about uh, maybe half hour to an hour to portage the whole thing. But after that, you can see the river kind of starts winding off into the distance. Does out it of look your like view. there's any more? It doesn't, from what you can see, and you can see a fair distance. Not so, You can't see the end of it. They're still un, unknown. Right. Um, but you don't see any other waterfalls. Okay. I run back to the group. Gotcha. I, I make sure I have water and one DC melt, and then I run back to the group. <laughs> uh, gotcha. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> Priority. Of course. So yeah, you guys get back and you, uh, uh, Flare on gets back with it. it. It's probably only been 20 minutes. Like, probably maybe even 15 since he used that for strike. Okay, so he's back. It's about 10.15. Oh, I'm sorry. It's about uh, almost noon. Uh, so, yeah, since uh, I used Zephyr Strike, uh, it, it was really fast. It'd probably only take us about 15 minutes to get there, but there's a 190-foot waterfall, like, right there. So we That's have a very to... specific number. Yeah, I know. I, I'm good at it for this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I eyeballed it at approximately 193.2 feet. But we, but we can get around it. It's like a 30-minute detour, but then after that, we should be able to take them their boats for a good while. I think we found our... Uh... I think we should go. That way. So what are you guys gonna do? Yeah. We gotta hide the boat. Now the river, right? Yep. Which, well, we gotta do that. Oh wait, hold on. I might have a solution. Uh, so what do you guys? You guys are doing what again? You're gonna go. You're off the beaten trail. We're gonna hide the boats, right? And you're gonna go hide the boats, right? That sounds like a good idea. So. You guys um, bring your wagons. It takes a lot longer to move through the woods. What time is it? Off the trail. I well, my watch. There's no watch. Uh, so you think it's somewhere around noon when you head off. What are you talking about? I'm wearing a gold watch. I guess they're... <laughs> Where'd you get the golden watch? From Eddie. Book up ID Fine. 77. It's noon. Nice. Uh, uh, so you guys head off. Uh, it's a long, arduous journey through the thick foliage, mm -hmm. but probably not as much because Flareon's there. Right, I disagree. Um, so yeah, you guys can... you you Everyone give me a nature check uh, So as you guys are all going to hide these boats. Or survive. Or survive. That's what you like to hear. Do I have to call it out first? We're just doing it as a group. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to do... I'm going to say... Oh, 22. I have a DC actually in my head. I just need to hear everyone's. On that 20. 26. 22. Oh, God. One. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, boy. What is it? A nature check? Or survival? What cab get? Uh, 17. <clears throat> yeah, you guys feel like you do a pretty good job. Oh. Randomly. 10. Down, 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 okay. Down, down. All right. So, da da da. All right, and you guys do that, and you 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 feel like you hide them pretty much. You can see the obviously the castle tower in on the mountain, you know, over on the western side, the face. Um, as you guys hide these boats amongst the foliage, kind of covering them in branches and stuff, and memorizing where they are, kind of near a big rock that is uh, sitting right near the edge of the water, and you can see the water, you know, just kind of running down in a, you know, it's not a super big river, but it is a river. Looks like it'll fit, you know, these boats. You could fit a couple boats abreast, but... Abreast. I chuckle when I hear God say that. <laughs> uh, so, what do you guys want to do? Go back. No, we have to go in the city. Alright, so you guys we go back. Well, so... I don't know if we want to go in the city. Oh. Because we need to find the back entrance. Yeah, Alright, so yeah... Or what are you guys going to do then? Push the back entrance to the city, ah. or the We HQ. should cross this river and then hide the boats and then go up to the city on the back side. Well, we I need to get I need to get a uniform first. Mm. All right. Do, all right. We jump <laughs> the line front gate and we say help me, help me, help me. Yeah, yeah we go and stand when by they the come out, we go. 
when someone comes out for a smoke break, we beat them up. Um, we teach them, we make them wish they were dead, and then we grant their wish. Yeah. <laughs> So what are you guys doing? And then grant his wish. Bro. Oh. How are we gonna get our horses? Well the horses are dead. I mean I thought we agreed. I mean we, can we have well, break their we'll legs. We'll have enough people that people can ride the horses, I guess. Because I like I'm not gonna get in a boat, I'm a fucking horse. Well, I feel like you would scout ahead for the people who are on the boat. Oh, okay. But like you can do that because you're you know the train. What about a regular horse? Can you, can you leave all our horses to of, safety? Of course, I would love to. Alt gay, beep bop, and who? Uh, Titty beep, flip. Beep boop, actually. Beep boop, I'm sorry. Beep boop. Natalie tip flip. So, what are you guys doing? So, then another problem is I'm wearing this <laughs> armor. I'm wearing this armor. <laughs> the problems just keep rising. <laughs> we were not prepared. Somehow I feel like we didn't think this shit through. <laughs> oh, good. When has that ever happened before? <laughs> he usually ends well for most of us. I agree. The thing is, I'm not wearing armor. Oh, I, I, I am wearing armor, but we need to get we need to get armor from a high-ranking Black Hand member, so I can put it on, so I can pretend to be. Like, uh, your captor and lead you in through the back entrance. Oh, we're actually doing that? <laughs> <laughs> we're <laughs> we're <fun. laughs> So, I, what are you guys I doing? Thought there was a plan here. Exactly. That, there, that's that, just a plan. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to I'm iron worried. out some details. We're fucked. Don't be worried, just be scared. The plan is, is I was gonna... What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Yes. The plan well, we is, worried, I was going to lead you guys worried. through the back entrance. Mm -hmm. We totally do. And <laughs> as you're, as you guys would be my prisoners... Mm -hmm. um, I'm invisible. And you can turn invisible? Yeah. So, he can turn invisible. Um... And as you guys, you guys can see many wagons going by, and you can see it, Irina goes, oh, Cap, can I, can I see like three gold? Yeah. And she takes it, can you give her the three she gold? The claw machine. I figured we were still by the boats. Oh, are you guys still by the boats? I definitely want to leave my armor by the boats. All right, never mind. So you guys are back at the boats. All right, so what do you guys want? You guys are, okay, so you guys are all, you've, have you hidden the boats? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you boats definitely hit the boats. You can see they're hidden. Well, so can we see them? We can't see them if they're hidden. You know where they're. <laughs> okay. You know where they're located. Fucking yeah, I guess. Kids. Okay, but they are visually hidden. But you're visually hidden. Thank okay, you. they're metaphorically. <laughs> hidden. Thanks for that. They're Is the plan metaphor. like? Am I? We all agree that I'm gonna mm -hmm. like lead you guys as my prisoner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have to take off my armor. We aren't we also gonna need some sort of like handcuffs or something? I can get Shackles, that off the corpse cool. that I... I think also create... Because, like, we got different size shackle people here. We got an elephant, we got a turtle, Hi. we got a horse, and we got a monkey. I would just like to point out that I am indeed the elephant. <laughs> I, you, you can just use the... the ultimate... Rope? Yes. <laughs> we can just I go mean, into town and buy some chains. <laughs> So what are you guys doing? Okay, let's just leave Tower behind. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> My dad told me a lot. <laughs> you never heard of him. You're right. Blackstrap is your dad. This is gonna suck. Yeah, <laughs> we're so fucked. This is not his fault. I still think we should just go talk to Marcus at this point. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, we might as well try and sneak in because... If I, if we sneak in and it fails, we're gonna end up talking to Marcus because they're gonna capture us and take us to talk to him because he's gonna know want to know what the fuck's going on. So yes. then we can just talk to him. I very yeah. different footing. But okay. yeah, absolutely, but let's. I think we do our best work in the really <laughs> shitty situation. Yeah, I, mean, I, can, I, can, I can concur with. I can concur with. It's kind of true. <laughs> I mean, I, fire. I oh. take off my armor. And I put it in one of the boats. All right. And make sure that it's absolutely gotcha. covered. I stealth check, try to steal the arm. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your stealth check. <laughs> uh, 
If I go invisible, can I wear Cab's armor? <laughs> like, for him? <laughs> like... Wait, yeah, hold on, what do you mean? have to be... Like, so we can bring Cab's armor in, I will wear his armor and then go invisible. Sure, I mean, like, what, what, um... Are you guys are really purposely leaving it out here because you don't want something, like... Just, no, I'm just saying, in case something happens, do you want your in armor... In case something ready? happens, like... Don't you have a bag of holding? I do. We'll be able to be Can you put armor inside yeah, your bag of holding? Yeah. Armor inside your bag. 100%. God? Yeah, let me pull out the statistics of your <laughs> bag of holding. Oh, I have them in here. Do you, have like says, the, do you have the mouth size? Oh, if there's one thing I can do, it's I can stretch a hole. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know. Just a discovery. <laughs> bag is Cap, no, no, no. Bag is holding 500 pounds, 64 feet uh, to the power of three. All right. Oh, 64 four feet cubed is how much space is in there. And it can hold up to 500 pounds. So I'm assuming I can put spot on Two feet no, at the mouth. So two feet in diameter is at the mouth. So it's a one foot radius. Oh, you can definitely do that. Yeah, we so just So one, two. Yeah. What kind of armor do you have? Heavy. The big one. Like what kind of the plate? Heavy plate. The largest of ones. The one um, I'm gonna say you can fit everything, but I'm gonna need a sleight of hand from someone to fit the big plate, the chest plate in there. Wait. Which would mean it'd be your normal armor without the chest plate is gonna be a minus two to AC. So you could carry almost all your armor except for the chest plate, <laughs> unless someone can make me a DC 18 sleight of hand. Well, let's try. I have a plus three. I have plus two. Can we all try or just? No, I need one person to try. Who has the highest? Who has good hair? My sleight of hand is plus four. That I, sounds like that sounds like the winner. I cast guidance on. Uh, all right, and he casts guidance. You get the D four to it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, well, maybe right. Oops. Do so you have eleven? No, it won't work. Maybe even with plus four. <laughs> Well, yeah, so as you as you do it, you, you see like it's catching on the edge of the mouth of the bag, and you think that you can maybe push it in with a DC 18 athletics, but if it fails, it's going to rip the bag. Who's got good athletics? Huh? My is plus eight. I cast guidance on him again. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to recast it, actually. If I... You do know bad things happen if a bag is holding his torn. Is it really worth it? What the fuck am we? What the fuck are we supposed to do? Well, I can care. I can wear it. I can just wear the the chest plate and turn. You could I just wear the chest plate. I, I yeah. step away from the vicinity of this as you, I'm watching them. As I'm watching them stretch the bag of holding. I'm not doing that. You can. You know, Jog. You're gonna do disadvantage things if you wear the armor because you you can't wear heavy armor. Mm -hmm. But you could put it on. There's nothing that says, like, you put it on, the rules are broken. It just makes it really hard for you to move and do things. Can you wear heavy armor? Yeah, but I'm not going to. Okay. Yeah, like, if you wear... Because it tells you what armor class you can wear. Like, you know, heavy, you, medium, you or light. You can wear it. You just don't have to... If you don't yeah, have you can, anyone can wear it. I'll let you wear anything. It's just how... Just imagine how it's going to affect your character if it's outside your armor class. Like, it's... I if a sure. wizard with like who just walks around with no armor shooting spells puts on heavy plate armor, like they're gonna have a lot of penalties involved. But if I'm gonna be invisible, they're just like walking around. You'd still okay. make noise. Yeah, you'd still yeah. definitely have disadvantage on all your stealth checks, and it, it would not be good. Right, I'm not gonna wear it. <laughs> but it would still be possible. Can I read a word? Just Irina just says, I mean, I could wear could it, but I have my own armor. Um, I would like to take a moment to say that I can also make myself invisible. Cab, why can't you wear your armor? Because he's going to be Because I need to wear armor. their uniform. Oh, right. Makes sense. This is very important armor. I'm not, like, I can't lose this. Well, if we leave it here, it won't be lost. We know mm -hmm. where it is. Right. But if we get into but, a bad situation. Yeah, if we get into a bad situation, I'm totally fucked. Do you have any other armor you can wear until you find we find which supposed to change into? I mean, I you don't can know almost I can... wear all his armor. Like it's just the plate, the chest plate. That... Yeah, but the problem is, 
is I need to wear a specific type of armor. I need to wear exactly the black whatever. hands armor. Yeah. And that entails we need to kill or steal a high ranking black hand officer. Do we want to find the officer first before we start taking off your armor? Like, That's what I was just thinking. Like, <laughs> somehow get him out into the woods. Jog. Yeah. And yeah, we then we're up there, we go, help me, help me, come this way. Yeah. Kill the motherfucker. Take all his armor. You put that one on. You see the other one here. Yeah. Throw the body down the river. Bing, bang, bop. Bada, bop, boom. Pow. Yeah. I'm not waiting here out in the wilderness. What? I no. mean, you can come with us. Damn. Yeah, we're going to find him. Well, 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 well all fuck. right. <laughs> Throw him in the river. Fine, I take my. No, don't take it off yet. It's already off. Oh, we'll put it back on. Yeah, you put it back on. About to say. Okay. Put it back on. Then let's go. Let's go find. Let's go find a little boy. Okay. So you guys head back around to the main Razorback Trail, right? Or where are you going? Wh wh which way do you want to go? Because there's two ways you could go about that. So we're south of the city right now, right? You're in the south end. You know that the main gate is over on the west end of the city? Mm -hmm. And that the seeker entrance is on the east end, the opposite side. So we should definitely not do it from the east end if we're going to go in through the east end. So we should go up to the west and do it. Or to the north. You can see the gates are, you know, it's large gates and they're open. And you can see people moving in and out. Should we call for help? Let's see if they come to our call. My cat is done. We can go get, like, a citizen and be like, hey, can you send can help? Throw, like, let's put this water up a tree. And say, <laughs> my cat is done. Do you think a high-ranking officer is going to come to any, like, mundane thing? If he's nice. Well, how else are we get an officer than actually? We can tell them that there's a drug deal happening. We should just sneak in the old-fashioned way, like Bonnie and Clip. <laughs> Bonnie and Clip. Clip Clipper. Yeah, Bonnie and Clitoris. I oh. What? What if what if I um, do what I did last week and uh, we draw out? Um, what if, what if I give a note to a child? <laughs> I love how it's always a child. What if I give a note to a child? Remember how we did this, though? Yes, they exactly. weren't there last week. Irene is yeah. here this time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> let the... Let the game Let the show. torture commence. Um, I will give a note to a child. I'll tell that child to go to a um, black hand up... Um, Guard official that thing. says that says um, um, like uh, the gauntlet scouts have been spotted um, out south of the wall. like yeah south of the wall um, like and give a specific meeting spot that we like a specific landmark that we saw while we were on our way to the boats um, and then Kill maybe. That's my favorite. I'm just worried that he's gonna bring multiple so soldiers. Good at. Maybe um. Oh, well, the whole talking thing. No. <laughs> do you, so, do you think like a high-ranking like general would not general? Well, what, how high did uh, Eddie say we would need to be in order to be like? He never said. In, oh, well, I asked him, and he was like, "What are you? What are you talking about?" Fucking Eddie, God, we should have killed that guy. We should have killed Eddie. Uh, yeah. My question was, what's the lowest rank of officer that I would need that people wouldn't question? Yeah, it wouldn't be suspicious. And he, was like, oh, and he gave me a bunch oh, of stats. Can you turn on the heater for a second? Yeah. yeah. I fucking hate Eddie, dude. Um, I would say, because if you're just bringing in prisoners... Nice for the list, by the way. Um, you turn right. I would say either captain or major. You didn't finish spelling Colonel. I know. You said Colo. To be honest, I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> That's it's C O L O N D. It is annoying. I would say we need either a captain or a major. Because that's like right in the middle. A 
captain or major come out to play? Would captain or major come out if an, anon if an anonymous tip was... <laughs> what if... <laughs> what if... Um, what if... What if... What if... What if... On the note... What if on the note it said like E for like Eddie or something? That's what I was thinking, but they don't trust him because he's up. What if we made it from Marcus? Like instead of like, hey, here's a tip, it's like, hey, take whatever, take so many men, it can go south and check this out. Like take three men. Why would I give that to a child? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we okay, we don't give it to a child. We find something else. A hot lady. Irina. But we said a hot lady. Damn! Damn, damn, damn. I that my cock and I begin to fuck you. <laughs> Wait, I, I what? I begin to fuck you. <laughs> I, I accept it. I accept it. With tears in my eyes. Um, <laughs> Irina watches. Can you, so, how does... You can't copy clothing, you can only copy, like, what someone looks like? Well, how about this, everyone? It might not be a terrible idea to do a little bit of scouting in the city. We have this ale. Some of us can pose as merchants. We go in, get the lay of the land, procure some outfits, drag some people in some alleys, crack some heads, do what we need to do, come back. The whole group doesn't have to go. No souls left alive. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what you're into, but <laughs> we could do a little foray into the city. A little recon. A little recon. Reconnaissance is the French thing. So we should probably send what inconspicuous people? I don't know. They like oh, to run away. Uh, I, th I think we're out, brother. <laughs> Who, who, who would fly under the The point radar? is, we need this armor before we can try and make our way I can help back. with us to You're pass without a trace. There's no particular reason this group can't go in together as merchants before we... Well, I'm just saying, I don't, like, for, so, like... We're not wanted men at the moment. But yeah, that's what I'm saying, we're very distinct people, so, like, if they see a robot, a turtle woman, a horse, a horse man, I'm sorry, Elephant, I'm sorry. And then all of a sudden they like you know say one of the black hands see it or whatever, and then they report it throughout the rest of the black hand, and then like you know a couple hours later we're coming up through the uh, you know the back gate, and we're missing one person they saw with us, and then there's just you know what I mean. Well, maybe then just one of us and I would say Cabin Irina, yeah, or just Cabin Irina. I was thinking just Cabin Irina because you're both human. And, and you, you have, have the, the alibi of love. You have the ale. And you have the purchased. alibi of love. Tell them you're on your honeymoon. And you're visiting the foreign You're lines. trying to sell the ale to pay for the honeymoon. Then you'll get extra coin. Who am I going up to? I'm what, what, you're your goal is, is to recon. get in there and to look around and get the... Uh, you can go with them, Sean. You can be their uh, lackey. Well, never mind. You're turtle. Yeah, never mind. Sure. Just you and Irina. You can take Walden. <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically you can go in there, you've got the ale, you've got the cards, you've got horses, you're two humans. Go do what you need to do, get the clothes, and then come back. And then you can learn more about the city and what's Get the clothes? As simple yeah. as that. Get what the, clothes? Yeah. The armor? The outfits, yeah. The armor? Yeah. No, that's going to be fucking simple. <laughs> it will be. How will getting fucking Captain Armor be simple? Maybe all the armor is the same. Maybe the bag. It sounds as if you've never done this before. You go to whichever tavern they drink at. You get them hammered. You lure them away. Beat them up. Tie them up. Simple as that. This is pretty it's like, basic stuff. It's like, it seems like you've never done this before. <laughs> I, I get this the crew you've simple. been rolling with. What, what, hey, why hey, haven't hey. you taught them hey. any of the hey. tips Wait, and tricks? Some of us are more uh, energy than others. There will be a local hangout that they rest and relax at. The 
guards, you like regular guards, so sure. I don't know about major officials. If anything, they would be inside the keep. If anything, you don't even have to get the armor. Yeah, I think you can you're just go in there and get intelligence. <laughs> figure out, like like they said, maybe they all have the same armor. Maybe right. they don't. Maybe it's just the figure, bag. figure out just a bunch of shit. Yeah, maybe it's just like, you know, they have like a maybe black cloak. Maybe they don't even wear armor. Yeah, maybe they have yes. their own armor and then it's a black cloak or something like that. You know what I mean? Some just armor is better than no armor. I would just keep your keep your armor and then do some recon, get some intelligence about it, and then we'll, that'll help us come up with a plan. So what are you guys? What are we doing? If you have the opportunity to take armor, by all means, fuck them in. Definitely but, not gonna. Hey, there you go. Sell Irina to one of them. She'll fuck his brains out all night long. That's such a good idea. And then she can. Just Irina's wake up clapping. And take all I love armor. this idea. <laughs> <laughs> No. Tab, I like this plan. <laughs> I can make trial with someone else because you haven't been able to. <laughs> My <times>. hand hardens. <laughs> as a, as Tab, it, I think you're into that cuck shit. As it wants to fucking just slap her. <laughs> oh uh, my god. I get, the sense, I get the sense that those words aren't her own. Um, well, no, that's she didn't say any of that. She, yeah. didn't say, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't say anything, and you're like, <laughs> Yeah, and then no, Tower's over there, what like, Yeah, and then saying? we can still her as a sex slave, and he's like, what is bitch. She's just standing there, like, What is Irene saying? saying? Say it. I knew it. <laughs> She's like, I knew this is what you always want. <laughs> it's my anxiety, guys. I'm very codependent and insecure. They're just he's joking, smacker. right, Cam? It's my anxiety. Sorry. <laughs> They're just joking. Flareon's just making jokes like he always does. I never will. <laughs> uh, yes. Flareon's brand <laughs> I, I'm going on Irina and I. I mean, she can't fight. What else she Irina doing? and I are going to walk around <laughs> the city, and we'll come back. You can take one DC mode. All right. So you guys walk up to the main gates, right? Are you taking the ale? Is it just you two? All right. Everyone, headphones on except for Pete and Irina. And Irina. And Irina doesn't have to put her headphones on. Do you have headphones? Yeah, I'll play. And as you make your way up towards the gates, you can see the large city. Uh, you can see these these guards kind of standing there at the entrance of the main gate from this west gate that you've come up. Um, so you make your way up to the gate. You can see the, these guards are standing there, kind of looking around. And as you uh, you just kind of walk your way through, right? It's just you and Irene on foot. All right, you can see lots of big wagons just kind of going around. No one seems to even, you can't really tell where the guards look at times because they have these like visors. Let me pull up what they would look like, I guess. You know, lots of these kind of uh, guards around. You can see there's also these kind of guards. There's like big, uh, it seems like a very fortified city as you start making your way through the main gate. And you can see this. the city is very, um, very large as you, you know, have already, you can feel the air here is thinner too as you raise, you know, altitude. You can definitely see that there are definitely different ranking members. You can see every once in a while, you can see some of these uh, the lesser armored soldiers kind of walking around. You can see there's like a, you know, trail of like six troops behind them just kind of walking. When I'm, when I'm passing by these soldiers, I, I want to see if I can see like a ranking on their shoulder or... Gotcha, go ahead. On his hat. Hell yeah. Uh, um, you definitely see that they have different ranking symbols. You can see, um, you can't, you don't really know what the symbols are, but you can tell that these ones have unique symbols apart from the others. It looks like these are, you know, you can't I'll, tell what rank, but these are definitely higher rank. Okay, um, then how, so I see those three different kinds. Which one do I see the most, and which one do I see the least? You can you can infer that there are different ranks amongst here. Like, you know, there's the basic... You can see that their armor really definitely signif signifies more than their rank, what they are. There's a lot of these... These soldiers are in mass. These are, like, the most common soldiers you can see marching through the streets. And then you also have, you know, like... There's a few of these, not many. You can infer that this is the highest ranking that you're seeing, at least on the streets. You haven't seen, 
you can't tell how much they are similar, but at least from what you're able to gather. Um, I walk around the streets more. I get towards the highest building that I'm assuming is the key. So you can see, yeah, as you look in here on the side of this mountain, you can see that there's almost like, it's almost tiered. Do you see like this picture here? Uh -huh. Yeah, so up there, like it's like this tiered kind of system. And uh, you can see up ahead of these walls, and as they come up, you can see there's main roads that lead up there. You can see a large keep up at the top of the terrace. And as you're just walking through the city, you can see there's lots of, you know, people. They look like, you know, it looks like a pretty a nicer end town, like a little, you know, in a sense. Um, you can hear cheers and yells coming from the other side of the city. Uh, up on the eastern end, just yeah, kind of distantly dying off, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of condensed city in here. What do you want to do? I'm gonna hit my way to the chair that I'm assuming is the Coliseum. All right, and you remember hearing about it and as you kind of move, you and Irina through the streets. Does I, Irina, does she have like a cloak up, like a Hold something over her head or something. Not that it mattered. I mean, she's just like she just looks normal. All right. So, and you guys just kind of walk through the streets. Um, you know, no one seems to take notice to you. Not even the guards. Uh, you just kind of blend in there pretty well, especially with all the humans around you. A lot of humans. Um, and yet you come up on this large um, coliseum. You can see uh, it's just like this. It almost looks. It has like this Greek architecture to it. You can see there's lots of people moving around. You can see outside. There's just a man with like a. There's these two men with like leashes on this large owl bear. And you can see it's just raw, raw. And you can see the people just kind of whoa, whoa. And you see that uh, one of these guards come over. You can see out of the way, out of the way. And you see just comes over, and the whole owl bear just. And you can see, ah, right there, I'm not. And you can see they kind of pull down the owl bear. And you can see there's lots of other people moving through. Um, you can hear another roar from inside, very loud, as people seem to be cheering over something. I say to Irina, you would assume, wouldn't, wouldn't you assume that there might be, do you think that like high-ranking officers would be watching the class, uh, the fights in the Coliseum, do you think? And she says, there it looks like there's all kinds of guards everywhere. I'm sure they'll have some kind of guard system in sight. Let's, let's go in and check that out. All right, so you guys head into the Coliseum. Um, as you walk in, you can see that there's um, it's kind of like a giant like soccer field as you kind of walk in and like there's like big structure. It's kind of closer to um, Star Wars Episode Two with like the pillars in the center of this like big arena. And as you walk in, you can see there's you know lots of um, down on the field. It looks like there's two groups of like almost humans fighting each other. You see like a like a something fly across the battlefield like on the other side of the goalpost and a fire explosion you see someone get thrown by and then you see you know two fighters out in the middle clink clink you know clashing swords and it looks like there's a group going between two uh parties um and you can see lots of people throwing money down and cheering and uh, as you walk you can see there are many guards kind of you know they're definitely down near the edge like as if someone were to jump over the edge and run into the soccer field you can see there's more of them down there. You don't see anything that look like higher ranking soldiers out walking amongst the people, but you do see that there are like these kind of like higher up boxes that you think, you know, like in a baseball stadium that it, you can't see up and you can see the way up to them, but you can't see into them from where you are. Um, I, we go and try to get as close as we can to boxes without all right suspicious. and as you move through there's stands where there's soul you know selling food all kinds of stuff and as you see it looks like there's a guarded staircase that goes up to where you probably need it to be to get up to the you see it's almost like an it, the people as you move closer to the staircase the, the the people around you die out as like it gets more sparse sparse civilians and more guards 
and no one seems to be stopping you. But as you see the the staircase, you can see up there is um there's about two guards on it, and you can just see they're just standing there with um swords at their side, just kind of sitting there talking to each other. Do they look like just the common guards? They look like these exactly. God damn it. I mean, it says, maybe if we need that distraction. Can you turn an invisible cat? I can see invisibility. Damn. If only Jock were here. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get, I don't know what's so simple about getting a high ranking officer. That's definitely um, not simple. <laughs> yeah. Whoever told you that is probably, you know, sick in the head. Right. Don't listen to everyone, yeah. Kat. I fuck every now. <laughs> I <laughs> right agree. there. <laughs> <laughs> the guards run over and then you sleep past them. Join! <laughs> <laughs> they join and that's the distraction. I'll yeah. hold them off, Cam. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just gets a double team. I, I say, <laughs> like, okay, you keep them distracted, I'll go to the, up to the box. <laughs> um, I, um, I say to Irina, listen. It popped in my head earlier. Like I don't know what else. I don't. I I don't know what else to do. But like I was gonna try to coerce. Like obviously, obviously I'm not gonna let anything happen. But I was gonna try and coerce. I was gonna pretend that I'm um, impotent <laughs> and then go up to a high-ranking officer <laughs> or something. Like, those one guys that we Go saw with on. the hats that were lightly armored. Uh-huh. And I was going to be like, you look like a powerful man, and <laughs> I think you would be able to treat my wife well. How about I pay you <laughs> to uh, have sex with her? And then, listen, and again, uh, obviously, we were going to lure him and then beat the shit out of him and steal his shit. No, that could work, except I have armor on. I should probably look a little more helpless. This seems pretty complex, but it definitely it could work. It is very complex, but I, I, say, I don't know what we're supposed to do. Maybe um, we could go, I mean, we could definitely see if we could, I mean, because we need to, you need to, for this plan to work, we need to talk to a high-ranking guard. Right. So there's probably some up there. We can talk to these guys about getting in contact with one if you think your plan's gonna work. Or we could go to a tavern. I'm sure that there's... Let's go, let's go check in a tavern. And if we, don't, if we don't see anything, I think we should just walk back and report our findings and gotcha. uh, reconvene and try to come up with some sort of backup plan or something. Cam, you all... Cab, you always have the best plans. She oh, said. Baby. I know. I know. So you guys head over to uh, start going down the streets, and you can see there's um, a tavern in kind of near the central area on the main tier, and uh, it says the magic missile. Um, I'll be using that on you tonight, baby. Uh, so let's go. The magic missile? Yeah. My penis. Oh, I get it. Because <laughs> uh, it, uh, it never um, misses. Yes. Um, uh, we go in. All and, right. Uh, I look around. And you can see as you walk into this large, it's a very large tavern, very big, bigger than most you've been inside. And you can see there's lots of people milling around. Um, more people definitely dressed in nicer clothes, everyone kind of moving around the whole place. Um, <laughs> You see, there's definitely some guards in here. Um, not not many. Now you only see about two guards, kind of just interspersed near the near the doorway. But as you walk in, you do see there are many different walks of life in here. Um, give me a perception check. Uh, ten. And you can see there's definitely you know lots of loud people, lots of different all kinds of different people sitting around tables and talking. Is there anything you want to do? Irina and I walk up to her table. Uh huh. Um, and I say, Excuse me, uh, 
like maybe do I see like a, a couple like just enjoying themselves sure. amongst the two of them yep. I say excuse me you two he goes oh um, I can have yeah we are uh, I'm engaged to this fine 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 woman. oh congratulations oh, thank you thank you uh is there um in this city is there like a uh-huh. banquet hall or like a yeah and is uh, we're looking for a like the nicest spot to have a wedding in this in this city. oh yeah in the city i mean yeah. you could because we we had a wedding in res mm-hmm. of course you know the some some higher higher end stuff but i mean if, if you if you are set on Nazelli, i mean it's a nice it's a nice city there's higher end stuff in res uh, it res is a lot more about the human luxuries if that makes sense a lot more about uh, money. Is like, that one? Is that one more heavily guarded? Do you think? I would say this one's more heavily guarded. This is more more the political powers. In Nazelli, um, the trading really uh, Nazelli isn't even connected to the sea, man. They're, they're not super. I mean, we still got places around here. I'm sure you can find a venue to rent. If that's what you're looking for, buddy. Yeah, I'm kind of. Um, so I I I am gonna be having. Uh, we're gonna be having this wedding, and uh-huh. I am gonna be having people from both of our families coming over. Uh-huh. And a lot of people are very superstitious or just very paranoid. Uh-huh. Um, do you happen to know what the like what each rank of guard is? Because I've I've been seeing a lot of these people with this helmet that I described, or yeah, and like. Are there any, like, do you know what the other office, like, do you know what an officer looks Give like? Give me a persuasion. Uh, I, I believe that's a two. Yeah. He goes, listen, buddy, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't really know about any of that stuff. I'm, I'm kind of... I just want to use an key like that. <laughs> not a part of the uh, gods here, man. Kind of keep my nose low. Understood. Uh, well... Thank you. For well, congratulations. Yeah, no, I ho- hope everything goes well. You know, hope the wedding is a, is a blast. Thank you. Uh, maybe I'll see you there. Right? Yeah. Uh, Are you inviting us to your wedding? Maybe. All right. Well. Well, this uh, is this is Gina. Nice to meet you, Gina. And I'm Richard. Gina and Richard. All right. Uh, you you two live here? Yeah, we live exactly here. Yeah. Writing down my notebook. Gina and Richard. All right, I got you down. Um, do you folks visit? I mean, this? you need a last name, right? Sure. It's Mortellan. Mortellan. Do you to visit this? Is this like one of your favorite places? <laughs> oh to yeah, go to? we we love we love the Magic Missile. Cool. I will see you later. Sweet. See you there. Morticia. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, it's, uh, Mortellan. Mortellan. Yeah, just, I guess, if, you know, it, it sounds like you, you got some setting up to do, but, uh, let us know. Well, you know, we're, we're the Mortellans. We live here in Nazelli. We, you know, you can come find us. Cool. We'll be here at the, uh, Magic Missile a lot. Sick. Uh, have a good evening. You too. <laughs> and you walk away. Thanks. You can see they go back to drinking. And... I turn to Irene and I go, fuck. Don't, so, don't try steroids. Cab and Irina come back to your guys' little group on the side of the road outside Nazelli. And uh, it's about been about an hour. Hey. <laughs> How'd hey. Um, I saw a lot of things. Did you flood? I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he did was... think about it. He's not flying. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, it was discussed. So, as it should be. As Not just so, it in when I describe anymore. the hmm. like. So I went around the city and I described the three different um, types I saw. Uh, water, fire, grass. Yeah, I saw. There was a lot of water. And grass was the least amount of people I saw. So, no, I, I, (laughs) you fucking started. Um, So I described the three different uh, guards that I saw. Yeah, 
There, you, you described that one. I see a lot of those. What's that? It's a soldier or a guard. That's just a regular guard. Yes. That looks terrifying. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, I, what the fuck are these? Things? Should I talk to? That him was the least the amount of ones I saw. But I'm assuming that's higher. Yes. That seems that's like sorry. something that Ant Man. <laughs> the fuck can I? You also did watching? see these. You also <laughs> did see these on the walls, like, <laughs> other, like You saw like, these like, carrying uh, like ranged weapons, right? Oh, what the? That's more of Ant Man. Yeah, that's close to anyway. Really? Yeah. I'm assuming those are a special it. military type. Um, you saw, so this was the second most you saw? Mm-hmm. Up on the, the walls, one, he was saying. Right. Gotcha. But that um, was really only in the entrance he saw yeah. those. But, um... Do you have the stuff? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. I, uh... I went to the Coliseum of Heroes. Oh, cool. Were um, we there? <laughs> no. We're both like, were we there? <laughs> we went to the Coliseum of Heroes. And because I was, I went there to see if there would be a higher officer there. And there are, like, you know, big, um, what would you call those? Or I mean, like, Huh? Statues? No, no. Like in a big, base at a baseball field, what like do you in call in the audience? What do you call those? Like the glass, the the boxes, like where dugout, really something. important people go. Yeah, the, the lo- boxes, the loge, the boxes, the loges, the loges. The loges. Yeah, the loge seats. I, I saw some of those, and those were being guarded. I would assume, like some very important people or like some high level guards would be in there. And so then we were. So cool. We were trying to think of like, we need to make a distraction or have Jog turn invisible and like sneak in there and just to see, to see if, um, do you know, I know this is, do. how many times so can, I'm how many times can, powerful spell caster myself. I was say, how many times can, you can each turn of you invisible turn too. invisible? I mean, well, I can. I will tell you. Do you want to, thank you. I'm <laughs> processing. <laughs> Um, I I fucking bit my lip right here and I bit my tongue right here, so it's like I can turn invisible plenty of times. Mm -hmm. Like like when I turn invisible, I I can always turn out. Damn. Uh, Sorcerer. Mike. Yeah, sorcerer. Uh, and it's like a second level spell, and I have three spell slots. (laughs) Like, like I want to, like. I'm I'm trying to be very careful about this. Like I am trying not to fuck up, mm. and I I apologize if you guys think I'm being a little detail oriented. But like I would rather us sneak in, and the only way we're the only way I can really think we're gonna do that is if I get this if I get this armor, and there's no problems yeah. attached with it. That's Absolutely. not likely. Well, I if we think that. about it and keep <laughs> trying, I think then it would be very likely. Okay, I think since you guys can turn invisible numerous times each, we should, like... <laughs> numerous times also each. Also, by the Colosseum, there's a lot of different uh, creatures. I saw Tabaxi, I saw a Dragonborn, and I saw Elves. Bandage? I did not see Black... Oh, I don't know what Black Shab looks like. Yeah. A Dragonborn. You narrowed it down. Because I saw many. He's got a big black uh, scar. Mm -hmm. Do I recall seeing any with a big black scar? Uh, give me a history check. No. (laughs) I got it. (laughs) That was a one plus six, seven. You definitely don't remember anything like that. So I say we come up with another plan, and you to get one of those officers Whoa. alone, like you were saying, with at the invisible duo. I um I came up with a plan uh, to <laughs> go up to one of them once. Once I find a large officer, I was gonna go up and say, "Hey," I was gonna say, "Hey, you look like a pretty powerful guy. I'm an impotent man. I will admit it. Impotent, and um." I need a powerful man such as yourself. 
I will pay you <laughs> to fuck my to wife. To fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I love this fight. <laughs> and Irina on board. Yeah, Irina and, says, "Yeah, but continue like, with the plan." Yeah, obviously, oh. like obviously, it doesn't it doesn't flare on. Oh wait, I thought oh. that was the whole plan. <laughs> obviously, that, <laughs> I thought that was the end. So yeah, I had the officer fuck my wife. I let him go, and then we've tried to figure out another plan. <laughs> okay, yeah, see that's how. <laughs> <it>. uh, <laughs> and then we handle this next problem. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, um, I love this plan. It's just, we need, Nothing could go wrong. I need to, <laughs> I just need to find a large officer. That's the ish. I've been known to be called <laughs> officer. <laughs> and then, oh, I've got yeah, an officer. And then, and then, and then, um, so. So Irina will lure the officer into a room, and then the two invisible people can follow. Yeah, because I definitely need to not have my armor on, says Irina. Yeah. Because I, I want to not look, look intimidating. I want to really oh, play up. Honey, you don't look intimidating. What was that, Tower? <laughs> you don't look intimidating. Tower. But you want to show off more of your body, I understand. She just glares at Tower. For the betterment of the group. Listen, baby. Yeah, whatever, Tower. Talk, the talk your talk your <laughs> smack. Tar, part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> I guess the only way is to prove girl? yourself into a tower. What? Prove yourself! Irina. Yes. Oh. Can you seduce a man? Like. I can. I've already done that once. Can, yeah. Oh, oh but then this shit. Is, we're talking about cab. We're talking about real man. We're, we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I am. No, 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 no. A real man. Uh, she says, "I, uh, I think I, I can, I can put up a pretty good fight." You're like, do your seat. Like, what are we working? With? No, I mean, I'm straight on track. You know. Two C's or one C? How thick are you? Wait, hold on. What? How big her titties? What'd you get in school? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get in school? A's! A minus! Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on, Skip. So. <laughs> hey. Alright, drop the armor, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm well, keeping we, on the armor, actually. <laughs> we don't even know where to start to find an officer. That's. Oh, well. That's well, didn't you say that one room in the Coliseum? She goes, what I did. Think? Think we about. think. I mean, there's and there were there were several. As of them, long too. as several. as long as we have a good enough plan to back it up, I guarantee I can find us an officer. Wow. You're the, you have a way with words. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think if we do come up with a good plan, we could do anything. Mm. But that well, involves right, a good yeah, plan. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm saying if I cause it. Actually, we can, I have we can find an officer. Yeah, crazy. I mean, I think they're really fast. You think they're uh, going to be cool with like a giant dinosaur creature uh, running around causing havoc? Like, that didn't just send an officer. Dude. I'm not saying I want to do that, but. Dude. I can put on the horse costume <laughs> and just run around. <laughs> What happened to the fucking the officer plan? I, th I yeah, love I it. Gotta find the that's officer a, first. That, exactly. So you're saying we have to find the officer as the plan? Yeah, that's but that's I think that's a bad play, way to meet an officer. I mean, I agree, but what's your idea? Besides getting naked. What's your or? idea? A minus. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, well, I mean, we know that there's a lot of guards at the gate, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't been there yet. The best part is. Yes. I think. I think that <laughs> if there was one point in the city that would be very heavily guarded, two points, it would be the gate and it would be the keep, right? Mm -hmm. Two places we know that there will definitely be some kind of higher up guard. I guess that's you, true. Do you still find any taverns that they might chill at and keep going? I mean, I don't know. I feel like that would be a good idea. Try that sounds like a cool idea. Say that again. Like go to a tavern that we see a lot of the guards going into, see if we can spot an officer in there. I didn't... I didn't see anything like that. Well, it's, what time is it? Like 10 o'clock? Uh, it's about 2 p.m. Well, yeah, they ain't off yet. Once they get off at night, the sun goes down, and then 
Ooh, but come but they, it's you not like they. You should just go ask and be like, it's "Hey, like what they, rank are you?" And then go to the next one. Hey, what wow, rank that are looks, you? Wow, that we looks. Can do that. What rank are you? We, we we can dress up like some like pretty young girls and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and like "Hey, what rank are you?" This plan, you know, like, <laughs> this plan is gonna go great. <laughs> like, like we just like go flirt with them, you know? We dress up like young girls. Where's Kirsten? <laughs> Fat dress up <laughs> like young girls. All right, so I think I might how are you guys over. dressing up like young girls? No, I think. What are we doing? The sky self. Yeah. <laughs> Look like Irina says, says, "Are we going to do something or?" Well, yeah. Yeah. Obviously. We just gotta figure out that something. Oh, okay. Like My bad. Um, what do you think, Kevin? Yeah, I mean, you have the most experience in this. Right, right. You're the master of the city as far as I'm concerned. Well, <laughs> you're the master King. of the, yes. the new Burger King of the I think it would be... <laughs> I go, wait, wait, flare on peanut butter and the silly. <laughs> Peanut butter zelly time, peanut butter zelly time. I don't know. Yeah. Um... Peanut butter and the silly. Oh, my God. I think you, you two should go back in. You two should turn invisible and follow them. And when you think you come across one of these hoes, like, you know, high-ranking hoes, high pull them into hose. a room, I, and then there's four of you and one of the hoes. I definitely like what Tower said about waiting for the off hours of a lot of, you know... Yeah, yeah, people. that's fine. I'm Which, just saying... Because like the higher-ranking officers probably aren't pulling night shifts. True. True. So okay, you make a book, good point, because I was going to say... <laughs> Like, I'm sure this city's uh, defense doesn't sleep, but I guess it is true that a lot of the higher ranking officers would with the luxury. Or we could just watch the gate. I'm sure they, we could figure out who's in charge by just watching who's commanding everybody at the gate. You know what I mean? And I'm sure they're going to be dressed different than everybody else because they're the higher ranking people. But. Sure. So, like, we could do that until, like, we see them do a shift change or something like that, and then that's when the four of y'all can go in. We can, we can go but we can't look. We can't look like we're scouting out their defenses. So we're just sitting there watching their gate. <laughs> just standing in the middle of the road. Binoculars. <laughs> Just turn into like a bird. Approximately when does your watch it? Yeah, why the hell don't you? <laughs> that guy's been staying exactly. in the just sit there Turn into like a bird like right like now a and go fly. Fly onto the gate and yeah. just sit there and listen no. to what they or, say. Or fly into a gate. Um, like, how thick is fly your Fly into the defense. Yeah. Like, oh, look, get this bird so. out of here. Uh, and then, like, look and observe all the different uh, uniforms, how, you know, how many there are. <laughs> Like the different oh, do it. quantity. <laughs> <laughs> that turned into a raven. That's all right, he turns oh, into God. a raven. With Doesn't your rare your raven abilities. Yeah. Doesn't all your stuff drop on the yeah, floor? Yeah, what, weren't you cured of what were raven on? No. I made it clear I wasn't going to do that. Okay, fine. We can say that you still have your rare raven. You mean when we went into the church? With yes. Them? Yeah, no, I was like, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. He, that means he still has to suffer the consequences of a full moon. I agree. Which, whatever. You still have your fucking wear ravenism. Um, so you turn into a raven. I grab all of his stuff. Yeah, I turn into a bird. All this. Yeah, stuff. all this stuff falls off. Wait, 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 wait. I like. I was like, I'll do it, and he just, without saying another word, and everything. <laughs> It's really just one giant bag. So now know. you're naked, but you're a bird. And I Always look around. Naked. I look around in this fucking city, and I'm like, dude, did anyone fucking see that? Uh, well, you guys are kind of pulled city. off to the side, I and we I, still by the boat. I didn't go yeah. in, right? They went in. By the no, boats. they're kind of. You guys aren't by the, the boats, but you boats also like are off the side of the trail. And I'm gonna say that you have positioned your stuff so that you guys are kind of behind. The boats your are wagons. far away, man. Walked. We'll say. Oh, I thought you two just walked. I didn't know all of us like walked. I assume we went. We all went to close to the city, and then Irene and I went into the city. Where did you think you were, Tower? I thought we were by the boats. I thought that's where we had. Gotcha. Were, I we were so just, like, out of the brush, like yeah. kind of off. The yeah, path you guys are off the main r Razorback Trail, but you are like within seen distance of it. But we'll say that Tower, since you thought you were hidden over there, you can just walk into the woods a bit and then. Do it, and then no one would notice. 
Okay. And Flareon, you're gonna go pick up his stuff? Yeah. I'll you throw see, it on my bag. And thro Flareon throws it on his bag. A tiny little bag that carries all of Exactly. Hey, 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 You see, you see, stuff. You see Walt and poke his head out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yep, grab him too. <laughs> and I, uh, I go. <laughs> and I, and I as he calls, yeah, just. <gasps> so where do so um uh, what are you gonna start doing? I'm flying into jelly. All right, everyone, headphones on, please, real yeah, quick. Yeah. This hopefully won't take too long. So yeah, you're flying. As as you come closer to the city of Nazala, you can see um it's large, tall walls like a multi-tiered system, um laid out before you. Here and it was, and you can see, like you know, as you're flying over the walls, you can see these large turrets are you know mounted and strategically placed, and you see lots of guards up there. And as you're flying, they look uh, like the common one that he said, or like three eyes. So you can see up on top of the wall, there's a lot of these ones, and you can kind of see them sitting there holding crossbows, kind of looking out over the. The side. You can see, like, every once in a while, like, up on these big turrets, there's, um, these, like, big, giant-looking crossbow things on these, like, things here. And you can see those all still seem to be operated by, um, regular-looking guards as you're flying up. But you do notice, as you're flying up here, on top of this gatehouse, this giant, because from your bird's-eye view, pun intended, um, you can see... Cheater! Oh, uh, you can see, um... As you fly over the large gatehouse, do you see this gatehouse that I'm talking about yep. right here? This one, it's very tall, kind of going over, just looking over the whole place. And as you kind of come up there, you can see there's two of these looking um, guards that kind of stand out to you as you're flying over. You can see these two, two of them kind of sitting inside the main, uh, on top of the main turret. Um, you can see one of them's writing on a pad of paper and the other one's over there just kind of cleaning a crossbow and you can see there's some other... They're like inside of it? Uh, on top. Oh, like, top so, okay. but it's, there's like a, a wall around it where you could shoot through arrows, does that make sense? Like yeah. arrow slots? But it's pretty wet, but there's no ceiling. It's like a, it's a turret. They're up in the top of the main gatehouse turret, just... You can see one of them's just, uh, right. yeah, one of them's right. You can see the other one has, like, food in front of them and is eating as well as cleaning across. You can see there's other soldiers nearby just kind of meandering but about. they don't look like that. They don't look like that. You I, uh, let me, I want to fly in there just a little bit. Yeah, so you fly up on top of the edge of the, the big turret. You can see, you know, it's a... I can't see what he's writing, right? Uh, do you want to, you'd have to fly down, like, near where he's... Let me fly down and, like land on his shoulder. Alright, so you like, you come down and you swoop over and you land on his shoulder. Uh, he, he goes, hey there buddy, what, well, look at guys, look at this, look at this, there's a boy. And you can see um, he's pointing over and you can see the other captain looks over and uh, the other <laughs> high ranking officer. I, and, I, uh, I look at the one that like has the food and I mm -hmm. kind of like move my head like in a bird. You can see, dude, I think he wants, I want some food. And you can see the other, the other one is like, hey, yeah. And you can see he takes a piece of food up and he goes, hey, you like this? And he throws it over in the direction. And you fly up and catch yeah. it. And, and I see, land back on the same shoulder. And you can do it. This, this bird's pretty smart. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And you can see, uh, what do you, are you, you're just kind of sitting there? Yeah, I want to try to like see if I can see what he's writing down. And, and uh, you can see the dude's trying to put up a finger at you. He's like, hey, little buddy, look at you. And then you're, like give me a persua uh, perception as you're trying. He's kind of jerking around and you're trying to read the paper. Fifteen. Fifteen? Uh, and with your keen bird eyes, you can see it looks like it's um, a kind of like a shipment order of different items coming into the shit cities at different scheduled times. And you can see it's kind of like staggered throughout the day. You're, are you, um, you can see that there's, um, it, it, like, cause it, like I said, it's like a shipment of crossbows. It looks like at midnight. You can see like it, there's like a name written after it. Mm -hmm. And then you can see there's also at... Can um, I read the name? All you do is it just says Lance on there. And then you see there's another one that says um, Great Swords, 6 a.m. Then it says next to it Lance. You see there's another one that says, uh, what is it, uh, Plate Mail. 
That one says 8 p.m. And next to that one says Jax. And that's all you, you can kind of gleam as like, you know, you're trying to read more of it and you see the guy putting his hand in your way. And he's like, little boydy, hey, yo, can you do any tricks, little boydy? And he's just kind of, you feel him just kind of his armored finger just poking the breast of your, you know. Yeah, I like let him touch me or whatever, but I'm just And he like, just seems like, dude, look, it lets me pet him. Hey, I think I might keep this one. And he can see, he's like, I, what, what do you think we should call him? And you can see the other one's like, hey, they have like a Polly, like a parrot or something. And he's like, ah, Polly, hey, you want to come home with me, Polly? <laughs> and you see, he just kind of stands up and like, oh, okay, look at him. I hover a little bit uh -huh. and I land on his head. You land on his head and he says, Jax, Jax, grab, grab that, grab the thing. And you see uh, the other guy's like, oh. As soon as I hear the well, no, he says, oh, and he takes uh, he takes some of the food and he goes, hey, little boydy, and he throws it up at you. And I, like, catch it and, like, start to hover up. And you can bit. see as he's hovering up, and he's like, he's getting away! And you see one of the other guards, he takes out, like, a shield, and you see he tries to, like, it's like a boat out shield, and you see he comes up and he tries to wave and swing it at you and try to catch you. Okay. Yeah, but you easily, because you already started flying away, you're already clearly out of reach. Can I discern that when he said Jax, he was talking to the one with the food? The other one you as a player like can try. Okay. All right. What do you want to do? Um. So I'm just like hovering there. I'll go to the top again. Right? And you can see they're both standing down at the bottom, looking up again. And he's like, "Hey, little boy, you're not gonna come back down." <laughs> and you can see one of the uh, someone uh, as you're are you sitting up on top, and you can see another troop comes in. And he goes, "Sir, the shipment has arrived just on plan, just as planned." And you can see the other one goes, "All right, just give them the approval." Uh. Are you trying, uh... I look at the sun. It looks like it's somewhere around 2 p.m. Okay. Gotcha. And you can see, uh, you know, like, the guard, like, and you can see the other one goes at ease. And you can see that the other guard, uh, walks off. Okay. Um, I fly away. All right. Like, 10 feet, and then I come right back and try to, like... My little bird head over and so you're gonna pretend and then come back and you can see by this time eh, he's gone and you can see uh, the the guard goes back to sitting down just uh you know the other one's eating and cleaning his weapon this one you can see he's just taking back out the paper and he goes god damn I hate when I wear sat lex is it sat lex that's wind lex uh huh okay. um Um, that other guard that just came in said, the shipment's blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. where is he? He's disappeared back into the, because up here, there's like a doorway that leads right. down into the turret itself, and he's oh, disappeared okay. back in there. What do you want to do? Um, I like start to hover a little bit and kind of like patrol the, the openings of mm -hmm. it that are on ground level. Do I see this dude or any like big... You see, there's a lots of guards around. Like it's hard to tell. They it's all wear. Which one is now they're all, they're all kind of wearing the same thing. Do I see any big like carts or big trailer looking things that? Might Are you be trying for to go like, into shipment? the turret? No. Okay. <laughs> um, but you're trying to look for any arrow slits you can see. Yeah. Um, you don't see. You just see movement of guards inside. You can see it's more like a guard post set up living quarters than it is like a armory. What about on like the outside? What about the outside? It's like the road there, like right behind it, uh -huh. or to the sides. What's the question? Do I see any like big? Uh, do I do I see any like any trailer or cart, like big cart looking things that might be considered like a shipment to my knowledge of what a shipment is? Oh, as you're flying through, yes. Yeah, so you can see at the gates there is a large wagon pulled off to the side. Okay. And you can see there's a bunch of like, you know, there's a big blanket over top of it. And you can see like, as, as you're flying around, like a couple seconds tick off and you see a guard come down and talk to the guy at the reins of the thing and they're kind of nodding the head. You can see he hands him something and he's like signing something and he hands it back down. You see, whoosh, and the cart starts moving through the main gates. And you can see there's just another guard there kind of like, you know, bringing them back into the main flow of traffic. Is and, he... and none of them look like the people I just saw in there that were playing with me. Yes, not, not, not none of the, either of those guys. They all look like they're just, you know, the first picture I showed you. Okay. Um, I, I fly back over top. I want to follow this cart. <laughs> Okay, so you start flying back over top, and you can see as it winds through the streets of Nizeli, it's headed for the main 
castle. And you can see as it's going uh, through the different uh, levels, you can see it comes to a second gatehouse over here. And as it goes through, you can see like it waits there for a bit, just like the first one. And then it goes on to the next tier. And are you still following it? Mm -hmm. It was fine. You can see it moves through here, past a big statue. You can see it comes up to this gatehouse, and same thing, it signs it off. And you can see the whole cart just starts moving into the uh, the keep. And you can see as it comes off to the... It enters this whole keep hold area, and you can see it's just moving through, and it comes off to one of these side buildings here, and disappears inside of it. All right, I'll f I want to fly over to the Coliseum of Heroes. Gotcha, and you can hear as, as you're getting closer, you can hear cheers, yacht loud yells, yeah! Oh, and as you're getting closer, you can see down in there, it looks like there's... um. At this point, you can see that there's a. It looks like a two v two kind of thing of these two. Uh, it looks like two dragonborn, and then you see on the other side two humans, and you can see one of them. Should you see like a streak of lightning come across and whizzes past one of them, and you see one of the other ones with a with wand on the other side cast, and you see a thunderstorm gathers over the other side, and you see, and you see the crowd yelling like people, you know, throwing things into the center of the coliseum. It looks like a big like baseball stadium slash soccer field. I look to like the top and look for what they described as these like low. And you do see that like these big glass, like you can only see one way through it looks like. As these, like they're kind of just like a baseball stadium, kind of yeah. overhung and looking into the main, like has a premier, you know, prime seat view of the stadium, of the events folding within. Okay. I want to fly up to the glass. And okay. And you can see it's, it's shiny surface shining back your own raven reflection as you're flapping in front of it. How high does it go? Can I sit on top of it? Can you sit on top of it? Yeah, I mean, you can sit on top of, like, the stadium, like, the whole, yeah. But I can't see down in the glass, right? It's not, it's the glass is only on the face, facing the field. What's and you on can, top of it? Just, the whole just, 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 like, what's on top of a baseball stadium roof. I mean, like, it's just metal. It's it looks like open. the whole, what? It's all open, but like there's a roof to where there are. Yes, there, there is a wolf. Okay. There is no open area to them. So where if it rained, I, they would not know. What did I see in there? Like getting up close. Like if I start to hover in front of it. The glass. Bit. And there's a glass. There's like a I sheet. You can't of, see through it. You can't see. You see oh, your own oh, raven reflection. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Um, so there, it's almost, it's a pillbox almost. Think about it with like a glass that's angled down into, like it's almost like looking down into the stadium, but you can't, you know, it looks like it's protected. Like it's... It's not just, you know, open-ended. I search for, like, openings on that area. Like, got you. on the top or around the back side God of damn. that area. I just, I look for any openings I can see. My you can see as, as you come around the side, there are windows. They're closed. You can see, but this glass you can see through. Like, as you're kind of coming around the sides of, of this pillbox instead of the glass facing the front, as you come around the side, you can see that there's like these windows, one, you know, two glass pane windows, but you can see that they're locked. And as you're kind of flying by, you can see inside, there's a bunch of fancier looking people. Um, you know, you can see wine being handed around. You can also see that they're, um, do see a, a, you do see a couple of these, you know, you do see regular guards in there. You do see a couple of these guys in there too, just kind of sitting around and talking and stuff. Um, you can see they all have weapons on them. But you also do see other high-ranking members and stuff all kind of sitting around. Looks like a lot of nobles, I guess you could kind of say. And you can see, you know, some of them up against the glass, roaring and like, you know, spilling drinks and cheering. Okay. I start making my way back to the party. All right. So you're going to come back? All right, everyone, come back. So the raven, at, so it's been, you know... Probably about uh, maybe half hour. Do you, what do you guys? You guys just chilling? Gotcha. Um, I fuck Irina. And that's yeah. And you fuck Irina uh, out there in the middle of the sun baked dirt. Um. So and that's when the <laughs> rain. Salarin's sitting there sipping on some of the ale. And you're just yeah sipping on ale, feeling good, Should buzzing with the boys. Good. Um. And that's when the Raven returns. Ah! What do you do? Ah. I land on his shoulder. And then? Or his arm. And then uh huh. Back into town. Motherfucker. Just rips off your arm. Uh. I'm just completely naked. I'm like, oh yeah. Anyone remember where I dropped my stuff? For me and my niece. Oh, thanks. Um, no, you're not getting 
Right. <laughs> um, so I'm like, okay, well, I have some information. Yes. Now, um, I, as I'm like putting on my clothes, I like, okay, so, uh, around the outer wall of the city, there's a big turret that I would assume to be some kind of, oh, hi friend, I would assume to be some kind of living quarters for the guard. Mm -hmm. And I found, now what you saw, you saw when you and Irina went in for food with the hats. Mm -hmm. I believe those to be high mambas. And I do know that coming through that <laughs> that gate, which I can point out to you, um, at midnight, they're going to be delivering some crossbows right there where the Razorback track comes into the west gate. They're going to be delivering some crossbows to midnight to a fool named Lance, some great sores at 6 a.m. tomorrow to a fool named Lance, and some plate mail at 8 p.m. to some fool named Jax. Now, I know who Jax is, and he's a fool with a hat, and I saw him and someone else there. I, don't, I only caught one of their names. Ah. <clears throat> But the one who <laughs> the, yeah. the one the one who was feeding me treats. <laughs> his name You were getting fed treats. His name is Jax. And he's supposed to pick up some plate mail at eight PM. But when I was there they were making a delivery and somebody one of them said, Oh, just sign for it. They didn't go out to get it. But if we can get into that into that place, I think we could find a high-ranking officer like we were talking about. Also, um, in the luge, as we were speaking of, there's definitely high-ranking officers. I, I seen something up in there, which I don't know how to get there, but I seen them. <laughs> and that's about all I could muster. I, I got fed a little bit of treats from the guards. Now, what, what did you get fed? Huh? What was it that you got fed? I didn't look. <laughs> yeah. I just put it in my mouth. <laughs> I didn't look at her toast it, and I uh, decided to eat it to, you know, eat play the part of a raisin. Salty chocolate balls. They, 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 tried, the to, they, tried, to cap, they tried to capture me, but not in like a bad way. They were like, "Look at this cute raven. He seems smart. Let's, like, maybe we could eat him as a pet." And I flew away. I said, "Oh, that was birds." How's that some birds? Oh, that was some birds. So, uh, yeah, that's about. I know there's some high-ranking officers in that Razorback track, and I know one of them said he doesn't like working on Saturdays. So, and that's pretty much all I could get. Oh, also, if you're trying to bring shipments in, uh, you've got to go through three stages before you get to the peak. What are they? It's the same thing as the... Like three barricades? Same thing like as that first one, but yeah, they, they went through, they got a piece of paper, Someone would come out, one of the with the normal rabble guards, and they'd be like talking to each other. They hand them a piece of paper, they sign it, they come through, they go to another one, this one, and they sign it, and then they come through to this one, and then they sign it, and then they went through, and they went to one of those buildings with a lot of stuff, which I don't remember what they were bringing in, but I followed them the whole way, and then they went to the whole big keep. Did you happen to figure out how high ranking those? Added people I would imagine. Well, no. If you just, <laughs> there's just a word that came to mind that made it. Huh? Nothing. What did you say? Nothing. Uh, well, he did. He did. He said, "Sir." He might have said, "Captain." I don't remember it. Well, say you heard him say, "Captain." They, yeah. He said, "Captain." I, rem I remember. One of the uh, one of the guys talking. One of the guards said, "Captain, they're here to pick up something." Never. And captain, we'll call him Cap. <laughs> he was dressed the exact same as. Jacks. So he had a cap. He did have a cap. Oh, maybe we figured out the way. <laughs> and the and the dudes inside the Coliseum Blueage were also wearing the captain's uniform. So I would wonder. Let me check my notepad. Why my hands? I would imagine <laughs> to believe that. Majors, Colonel, and Brigadiers, and the one general probably don't come out too often. Hmm. Like majors and Colonels, I mean, they're probably around, but. Majors more. 
Major, yeah. Um, Major Colonel Brigatok and the one general, the only people we haven't seen yet. Well, Marcus, but... Um, yeah, he finished. Yeah, I agree. Good at shit Marcus. tower. Mark that. Shout out to tower. Yes. Um, well, I guess I gotta go lure one of them cabins. Come have sex with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're going to do with find them there for sure. I would say... Well, I mean, in, in worst case scenario, they just back up. We could, now we could... Worst case scenario, he fucks your wife. Yeah. I was going to say, worst case scenario, you child. Best case scenario. We could say, you know, we could wait till 8 p.m. We could wait on the road for a shipment of plate mail and take care of it. And then we could be the shipment of plate mail and then you could insist that Jax come sign for it because you also have this stu- succulent creature to woo to, to woo him, you know. Uh-huh. That could be a good did idea. He have, did he have a marriage right? I don't recall, but I didn't look. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so, like, all, so to recap, <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Complete recap. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think the other one's name is Lance, but I don't know. Well, we're going to have to hijack this delivery then. I agree. It sounds like that's where we're at. But we don't have to hurt anybody. We can just be like, hey, we'll take it from here. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. You have the badge, like, right? You can meet them before they get to the gates and be like, yeah, oh, you're yeah. dropping off here. Extra security because of, you know, the times are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the times are indeed crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> so, what are you guys good, doing? Plan. No, it's a good plan. Oh, boy. It'd be cool to leave on a good... Nope. Okay. Nope. So, the plan is to hijack the plate mail shipment that's supposed to come in at 8 p.m. And then we'll go to the gate. Well, we don't all have to, but you and Irina definitely do. And you gotta be like, I'm here to ship the plate mail or whatever. And then, when the guards come and sign for it, you gotta say, well, I, I need to see Jax a hundred percent I need to see him here because also I have a little something else and then we gotta doll up Irene a little bit like maybe put her in something a little more scandalous you know <laughs> yeah yeah I agree babe like, <laughs> it works <Do> you? <laughs> a minus we, we gotta stuff him we got some extra cloth <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what what are you trying to say? I'm asking you, sister. You ain't telling us what you're working with. I mean, <laughs> uh, go ahead. Um, um, get naked. With. Let's see what. Look, it's not sexist. It's, I mean, let's see the camera. You know, that's all. It is. I'm not saying I gotta <laughs> see it. I just want to trust that you ain't gonna ruin the operation. Oh. He's brain hatched an idea. Are, are you trying? <laughs> Damn it! What that red dress. Your that <laughs> fucking red dress that I bought her. Do you have it? No, I gave it you. to her. Wait, I might have uh, says I keep shirt. it on me at all times. Yeah, in case of a, <laughs> in case of a good day. She rips her shirt and it's yeah. underneath. Oh. <laughs> and she's wearing a pirate hat. She's wearing this pirate hat. <laughs> well, Irina, uh, uh, put on put on the dress. Irina, we wait. We what dress? Women. Red this dress. red dress that you said you were carrying. I was joking. I don't actually have the I red dress. I have a blue bitch. What do you not? mean? You think I just carry around goddamn dress well, into the battle? Swing. You can't swing the fucking sword, so you gotta be useful for something. No, you motherfucker. And she I pulls really? out the sword. And she goes, I'll swing this, motherfucker. Irina. I'll swing, I swear. Uh, Irina, we respect women, but right now I need you to make like my old little gremlin friend and disrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Irina, she says, I do have clothes underneath my armor. It's I not like to... I just go naked and well, then my armor on top. I have a blue wizard's robe that we might be able to modify. Anybody here good with, like... <laughs> With like, design. you're trying to make a wizard robe sexy. Is that what you're saying? No, we're trying yes, to make you sexy. Have you ever seen Halloween? They do that. Irina, are you telling me that your armor has heels? My old. Is there a problem with that cab? <laughs> it's practical. Listen, listen. My old old friend Sinna, we used to, <laughs> we used to, <laughs> we used to oh, dog people up before the games. <laughs> you're such a hell. Before the munchie games. All right. Then what are we doing? Take this blue wizard's robe, unless someone has a better idea. Just take off your armor. All right, and she doffs her armor. What is she wearing? 
Uh, that I red. Have a water skin. She has like black, <laughs> you know, the black yoga pants on there, as well as just a red maroon shirt with uh, mm. exactly like that underneath. Can I see your panty line? Do you have a. <laughs> is, she, is she granny or is she thong? Give you a perception <laughs> check. Alright, advantage. <laughs> yeah, I know I what like, I'm looking right, for. Right, right. Right. There you go. Oh, I got a eight. <laughs> I got a math thirteen. Yeah, you can see the panty lines. Yeah, Flare on pants. Power can. She's I, not I pull the shirt. I pull the shirt over. <laughs> <laughs> you pull the shirt over. Yeah, to cover her little panty line. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I take okay, out the panty line. I, I take out the blue wizard rope. ID fifty five. <laughs> it's a legit thing. I'm like, and I hold it up, and I'm like, gosh, can we make this work? Isn't it the one from the dude in the Amber Temple? Is that where you got that? I don't remember where we got where I got this from, but I also have his wand. I think that's the dude from the we Amber Temple. We can make this look like some kind you... of the one that we killed that was in there. I can see exactly everything about it. Am I right? The, if, the what's, blue, what's your question? The blue wizard so. from blue wizard drum. Oh, it's definitely from Amber Temple. Yes, oh. I'm a smart. Is it magical? Though, bro? No, mm-hmm. you suck dick. I'm not gonna tell you. Do you want the wizard robes and you hold them there? Okay. Out of your bag of holding. Yeah. Yeah, you pull on. Yeah, I mean, your bag of holding. Can we make this work. I mean, we got some rope. We could like make it tighter in certain places. Yeah, she goes. Make the curves. I in a non. <laughs> I in the most respectful way. I look around at Irina's uh, rear and see if she has like <laughs> curves. <laughs> what she got? Curves enough. She, it like, curves enough, is what you said. Is it like a Yeah, what do you mom? mean? Yeah, does, she have a, does she have a big bank or is she broke? <laughs> <laughs> is she, on a, is she, on a scale of one to a Pixar mom, how yeah. big is her? Yeah, yeah. On yeah. a Pixar she, mom, is she, is she dude. Damn. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's incredible. It's thick. I, yeah. we'll, we'll say she's probably around a seven. Do, okay. Uh, okay. Excuse me? That's working. What? Oh, you're all not playing anymore. <laughs> 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 I didn't say that's her attractiveness. I said the badonk about donk level. P- between t- if one is nothing and uh, ten is Pixar mom. Yeah. I, uh, I, I, okay. <laughs> I, I ain't playing unless it's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> She's an eight Pixar mom. <laughs> we, can, we can work with a seven. Now, I, in the not- nicest way, I look at her, her chest. <laughs> And I like, what are we working with? Pretty like, buxom. Is it? Is look. it? Is I it? Mean, buxom? Our armor got <laughs> whatever oh. that is. Like, look the at the picture. Does, but yeah, I don't Jan know. Jan Levinson before. Does she look like she picture? have like perk breasts? <laughs> <laughs> are they would, they fit, would they hit a fit a handful of hands? Like, you want to find out? I don't want to touch him. I've you can ask done. Cab. You yeah. can ask Cab. Yeah. yeah. Give us I gotta like. <laughs> give us a squeeze. Did you hear him? Give us I, I got a squeeze. I walk up and I'm like, my hand bent backwards. Are you doing this? This is for the betterment of the group. No, you I can ask Cab. Any of these questions, Cab can yeah. answer. Yeah, I want. Yeah, why? Now, why? Final question How tight is. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can it cut off the circulation. I can answer that. Okay, what do I have to roll to make this dress. Or this wizard's robe look like a nice, like, yeah, nice. You have to first tell me how you do it. I am gonna take my artisan's tools. So you take out these bland blue wizard robes, right? I thought you said it was magical. I didn't say they weren't magical. I know. I say it's all. I already know they're magical. All one solid color. I take out my artisan's tools. Okay. And some, some <laughs> extra rope I have, and I try to. I try to. to I try, Shut the fuck up. I um, try to make it. What are artisan tools? I don't they're usually like. I don't that, know. Like calligraphy and stuff like that. Like it's not like. <laughs> I take out my axe and like I mend painting. it. Um. So you're gonna you're gonna try to. So I picture. You know, like blue wizard robe. I'm trying to like make it almost like like she could put on the robe, right? And then we're gonna cut the sleeves off, and then we're gonna cut the V line so it's like a little bit of a deep V. Show some Cleveland, Ohio. And then I'm gonna tie like so a you're robe. cutting a deep V in the wizard oh, robe. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna tie my one part of my rope around the waist. You know, like Ultra Boy style. We can say to like make it a little bit tighter, and then we can cut some of the bottom to make it like a little bit shorter, like a skirt. And it'll, so look, and it'll we, look great. We can right? say that's what it looks like. So you're gonna so do your. I I cut off the sleeves. He All right, knows. sleeves <laughs> off. Gone. I cut off at least like to <laughs> here of the legs. Wait, the where? Leg of the legs. Oh, really? Yes. 
harvest. And okay. This whole neck part, got uh -huh. it. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> got it. Yeah. And I, I tell her like, uh, I, I really know you can keep on the rest of your clothes. Now we're just trying to see what's gonna look better. And then I hand it to her as that. And I'm like, put it on, please. Please. Uh, so, and, and she puts it on. And, and then, then I take a little bit of rope How and I tie it around her waist to make it a little bit tighter there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then I, I gauge, like, can I see knee? Or like, yeah, because like you, you make it, is it more like a short skirt that I'm you're trying to make it a short skirt? Yeah, you kind of you kind of pull it up. Like, it looks like you know what? If a girl went for a wizard as Halloween in downtown Kent, okay, it's kind of like is, this is exactly what <laughs> that's needed. what I'm trying to do. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, and then so I, yeah, you do that. How's the Cleveland, Ohio? <laughs> the Cleveland, Ohio is great. Just the way like that robe is right there, it works. Yeah, you can see like it's almost meant to just there's and all know. the other scraps of the robe I put back into my bag of holes. All right. <laughs> Can you, okay, I'm going to make that on that ID note that you just did all this. Wizard scraps. <laughs> okay. Now, I ask God, how hot does Irina look in this skimpy wizard's Ken Halloween outfit? Give me a, um... I cast guidance on myself. All right, you cast guidance and you look it over. Give me a perception. 23. 23, oh. and you'd say you think you did a pretty good job. Like, it's it's pretty detailed. And I go, Cab, she's your wife? What are you doing? Oh, dude. And I, 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 try, to, I try to act like Cinna. Like, I'm like, yeah. my girl on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and then they come in and they drag Cinna away story. and they torture oh, her forever. I really uh, give us a little twirl. And uh, she does a little twirl. Like, she goes, what do you think, Cab? I, I walk up to her and I lean her in her, in her ear. I'm like, you best keep this. <laughs> <laughs> you best what? You best keep this. Oh, and by the way, I forgot. I'm gonna need that. You back. best. Keep I'm gonna need that back. Uh, I I go to. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't take that away. From you. I go up to Tower <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? Irina says, now what? Uh, give me one second. So who has and the, who I has grab her Irina by the hand and I walk away with her. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> There's a giant stain on the robe. Do you guys come back? Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, my bad. Okay, I just uh, got so excited. Um, where's sorry. Irina's armor? In the back. Alright. Yeah. You, um, you can fit her armor in there. Smaller. Yes. Alright. Flareon and I will hide off to the side of the road. You alright, dude? Dude, like, I bit my tongue right here and it fucking hurts, dude, but still. Flareon and I will wait on the side of the road. Uh-huh. You two wait on the other side of the road, and you and I are wait in the middle. Now, when a carriage come by, around, like, 7 o'clock, probably-ish, we're gonna stop them. We're gonna commandeer their vessel. Well, no, no, you, well, hold on. Now, you can show them the badge and be like, listen. What, what do you want me to do? We'll take it from here. And say this is this is for Jax, right? This is the shipment of plate mail for Jax, and they're gonna be like, yeah. And you'll be like, right. Here's here's the badge. We're taking from here. We're putting on extra security because times are tough. <laughs> and then, I'm gonna tell you something happen if it. Then we might have to dispose of. It. So what do you guys? Well, let's uh, hope I like that part. So what are you guys doing? Or you just tell them like we'll escort you in, and then you can escort them there. We'll wait on the outside as soon as. As soon as the, the shipment is making its way towards Mizelli, y'all two go invisibles and like follow him and her and we'll hang back and hopefully we'll hang back in the tree line kind of like a little outside the south of the city and hopefully in a few hours y'all come back with some cool or armor to help us get in there with Jax's armor or himself. I mean, shit, you can smuggle a whole body, boy, but... You know, I mean, unless there's a better plan, that's what my brain came up with. I think this is a good plan. I think yeah. this is a good plan. I think that's about as good as we're going to get mm -hmm. with, 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 with our rules. <laughs> All right. Great. Great. Let's go. I say, Irina, in, in all honesty, you look nice. I'm sorry for being such a dick all the time. And as she, uh, she gives like a smile, like a slight smile. And she goes, it's been a while since I've heard Towers say it nice. And then you hear a <laughs> come from 
Irina. And she goes, what the hell? Did you just shake yourself? <laughs> and she looks down at her dress and she's like, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Can I kind of check that? Uh, yeah, go you ahead. Know? Oh, boy. <laughs> And and a, and a, and, a, and the plan has done for Give me actually a perception. Perfect. Can I cast guidance? No. You can't you can cast it and then proceed to the game. 17. I got a 19. You notice that Saloran's hand uh, in the background shot out and pointed at Irina. Nice. Oh, lovely. And did she shit herself? Irina was like, I feel perfectly fine. I didn't. Did she fart? She goes, I, I didn't, I don't, I, I don't think I farted. I my head down, like, near her legs, like, <laughs> nothing. With my trunk, because I get perception advantage when I sniff with my trunk. Yeah, you don't smell anything. And I go, well. I was about to be like, what'd you, what'd you do with my baby? <laughs> <laughs> what'd you do? No, she, she looks good, but she'll have chronic flatulence for the rest of the day. <laughs> She's a, always cursed. There's nothing I can do. Now, Salarin, if you ever do that again. <laughs> I'll kill you. I will kill you. I think that was just girl talk. Cop. <laughs> girl. I was just stretching after all of that dainty talk. What are you talking about? So, what are you guys doing? That's the plan. Alright, so what time do you guys wait till? 7. AM? PM? PM. All right, so 7 p.m. rolls around, and then what do you guys do? We're waiting for a shit show, hopefully, that comes by. We'll play now. All right. So, you guys sit there. Give me perception checks as you guys are waiting. Can you can see, see after 6 o'clock, the, the traffic starts to die down. At, at every point past then, like, well, I'm sorry. From 6 to 7, there is a lot of traffic, but it starts to die down after 7. Anyways, um, give me that roll. 16. 21. Everyone's... Everyone's to the side, except me and Irene are more in the center of the room. Yeah. Gotcha. Nice music. All right, and what did you get, John? 16. Oh, you said John, mm -hmm. not John. What are we rolling for again? Perception. To look for yeah. the wagon. Five. And as you, and what does everyone yell, yell at their number? 21. Twenty-one. Okay, and you guys see as you are sit there, you are sit there, and after um, about, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you still don't see any wagons that stand out to you as you guys are kind of, and you would notice, you think, especially with your, where your position, where you can see the gate, that you would have seen one of them pull off to the side and, like, do something. What time is it? Um, it looks like it's about, you said 7 p.m. I look right? at my watch. Or was it 8 p.m. you said? At 8. I said we waited until 7. The shipment yeah. disappeared. Okay, so yeah, and 7 rolls by, and 8 p.m. hits, and you still don't see anything. And you can see by this time, a lot of the wagons have started dying down. Okay, I and a lot of the... my eyes and looking in. All right, re-roll. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so, Fuck. yeah, you guys don't see any wagons, and you feel like you do a pretty good job of looking for wagons, because, yeah, you're able... You, you would remember that they definitely pull off to the side. The one that was, anyways, you know. As you're sitting there for a while, you do see a lot of wagons roll by. You see sometimes a guard will walk up and po at, talk to the one guy behind the cart. But then they keep mo rolling by. No one seems to have had to sign anything. I, uh, I speak up to the group and I go, No, there's a chance that this 8 p.m. Is it every day? Could be tomorrow. <laughs> like 24 hours from now. Because uh, well, we can make sure, for sure, if we wait and then at midnight some people roll by with some crossbows, uh, it'll be, uh, that'll be it. Yeah, you guys, are, are you going to wait? It, it's like 8, you know, a little after 8, nothing comes, 8.30. It's the sun starting to set. What do you guys want to do? Mm, we probably just got to wait uh, if we're going with this plan. I mean, mm -hmm. So are you guys kind of just still off to the side of the road, just waiting? Um, about 8.39 kind of rolls around. And you see at this point, you see a guard, um, two of them, just kind of walking down the road um, with no carts or anything. And as you guys are kind of off to the side here, you see one of them come, comes up to the, the cart area and from a distance. And you hear one of them goes, uh, looks like this. Two of them walk up to uh, the, the cart area. And you see uh, one of them goes, hey, everything okay over here? Nothing's okay. No, everything's 
We're oh, just, everything's good. We're just resting, playing some games. <sighs> All right, it's Hello, it. friend. We are <laughs> waiting for. Your gate closed. What? Your gate closed. You ask him. Yeah. And he goes. Question, well, late at night we start. You know, once once the di business dies down, we usually like to you know ask a couple more questions. But no, our gates are always open. Okay. Well, guys, I think. We should probably just go inside and play our games inside. And he goes, yeah, well, I just came over to make sure nothing's wrong with your cot. You guys all good? It looks like you got some boats yep. to bring in. Where did we hid those? We like oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you just have the horse and empty carts. He goes, it looks like you're coming to buy some stuff and take, away, take it away in the carts. Yeah, we're just chilling out here for a bit. All right, well, if there's anything, you know, you need, just let us know. We're, we're over there, and he points hey, over to the gatehouse. That's really kind of you. Thanks. Wanna fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You have a fair general. I would like to have fucked me, sir. <laughs> you want uh, what, what's horse? going on? <laughs> you better have been fucked by a horse penis before. <laughs> we, need, uh, we need someone to poop. I'm willing. We need someone to pwn this uh, noob over here. <laughs> what are you talking about? She needs to be broken in. Right. Are you saying this? And you point at Irina? She's already broken, man. <laughs> oh, broken never her. mind. We got it covered. Yeah. And the guard's just standing there. He's like, well, all right. This, no, you know, we're, we're, the the city is, you know, looking forward to your trade. And you see uh, the the guards turn around and walk away. Yeah, that was, that was really pleasant. Maybe we should kill Yeah. We, we didn't kill him. Maybe we should just talk to him after. Yeah. <laughs> so it's what do you guys... reasonable, this black man. <laughs> so what do you guys... As you guys sit there, you know, time goes on and it gets dark. We Are you guys just sitting around the cut wagons in the dark? We need to wait till midnight so we know for sure. Um, I, I'm I, on the right schedule. Gentlemen, John I do not easy. wish to sit here in the dark. I'm yeah. going to find an inn. I agree we should go inside. That's so terrifying. So are you going inside? I'll, go, I'll stay out here with you, Tower, if you're scared. Sure, let's split. I'll wait out here. I want to make sure we're on the right uh, timeline. Gotcha. Sure. You know, motorcycles and all. And I wink at Cam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what exactly are you guys doing? I don't we're, know. we're waiting. All right, so you, you continue waiting here um, in, in the dark. Going, what? We go into the city. Oh, are you guys going into the city? They are. We are. Okay, who goes into the city? Saloran and I'll go into the Cab. City as well. and I Irina as well. And, John. and you're going in? And your boy John. So you guys start walking in, you know, to the, the city and as you guys walk past uh, the you know, the guards kinda sit there and give you guys nods as you walk in through the main gate. Um and you guys can see as you enter the main city is you know at, at, you can the the moon's light is casting, you know, a nice glow on the rooftops. There's also, you know, it's a it's a pretty busy hopping city. Um, yeah. So you guys are where are you guys going inside this alley? Uh, go to the magic missile. All right. So you guys head into uh, the city of Nazelli and head over to the magic missile. So. You guys do that while the other group is waiting outside, correct? Why does my picture app keep crashing? Um, so, you guys head over to the Magic Missile and you enter and you can see there's, uh, it's even more crowded than when you were here earlier. You can see lots of people, uh, you know, yelling and drinking. Um, so yeah, you guys are just going to post up here and get some drinks and stuff. Yep. Do I see, can I do a perception mm -hmm. check to see if I see any cat moves? Sure, go ahead. Uh, 13. As you look around, you do see like there's a few guards in here. They look like that same common guard type. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't see any, I mean the only thing you see, what would you get again? Perception? Sure. Yeah, you don't see any, like, you know, there's lots of people around cheering and talking and stuff. But uh, you don't see anyone dressed up as, like, a high rank guard or anything. So. All right, so, back to the, you guys. Around, you know, midnight, as you're waiting here, midnight hits. Midnight 01. 
And then that's when you, it's been, you know, pretty quiet for the last probably 15, 20 minutes on that whole roll, roadway, there's nothing there. And that's when you see, clock, 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 you see a cart coming down the road. Right. Um, you, and as you're going by, I by, the tree line at the last second. All right. <laughs> and you come out and you can see, hey, uh, who, who are you? What? Sitting there on the edge of the seat and he goes, can I help you? You guys okay? And he goes, I'm, I'm fine. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, no, then I was just... It's just so late, you know, we're just camping out here, and like we didn't expect to see anybody, so we're just like, what are you doing? And Coming goes, into the city this late? Like, most people are camping or, uh... And he goes, I, I got places to be, I'm late already. And you see he smacks his reins and he starts the cart off again towards the gate. Okay. Uh, his cart, what, what kind of cart is he? So, uh, you can see it's a large cart being pulled by two big uh, draft horses. As the whole cart's being tugged forward, you can see there's a big blanket over whatever's in the back, but you can see it looks almost like a big, you know, wide basin, you know, wooden cart, and there's like poles, and then there's something like a blanket holding over top of it. So whatever it is could be ca capturing, you know, or holding stacks of crates. Well, it, and it's dark outside. It's midnight, it's, right? it's midnight, so it's just the moon's glow. Okay, I would like to stealthily like clop behind to the same beat as the uh -huh. horses and try and lift up the blanket and see what's under Gotcha, go ahead and give me a stealth check as you do it. Can I cast Pass Without Trace? Are you gonna cast it on him? Yeah. All right, you, you cast Pass Without Trace. And I try to like, keep pace with him in the tree. <laughs> How close do you have to be? I think it's a 30 foot radius. Go ahead and uh, make your, both of you make your stealth checks. What yeah, and you're staying further behind. You don't even have to make one tower as you're just oh, yeah, silently yeah, behind. Ten. Flare on. You go ahead and make your stealth check. Uh, 13 plus 7, 20 plus 10, 30. 30? 30. Yeah, and you very quietly, you match, like you said, you perfectly match the, the, the horses and you pull it up. And as you pull up, you can see inside there, it looks like there's a whole bunch of... Roll a d20 for me. Not crossbow. No, I'm kidding. Uh, there's a bunch of... <laughs> the, the look on Logan's face. You can see inside there is a bunch of these... Uh, uh, pieces of wood with holes in them and you can see in each hole there's like a crossbow kind of mounted there in like the ready position uh, without the string on it so they're not like ready to be used right away but they're like the pieces are there all lined up neatly in the back of this car. I, Lots I of crossbows. I continue to keep pace but I turn to tower and I'm like... <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing? I t how how many guys were in the cart? You can you only saw the one guy up front. I tell him on DC mode to <laughs> jump on top of the cart and then go and try to push the guy out. <laughs> All right, so on DC mode, go ahead and make an athletics <laughs> check as one DC mode comes to the side. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> thirteen. Uh, and oh, you see one DC mode successfully <laughs> with that thirteen. You see, he runs around the side and he, and he, yeah, you see, as the cart's moving forward, you just see from the left side, the driver's side, whoo, and you see a guy fall out into the dark dust as the moon's light glows, as you can see, you know, not too off, too far off the entrance of the castle, or entrance to the main keep, as in the shadows, this man has been pushed off his cart, and we're going to pick up next week there.